Oh, we're already recording now. <laughs> so how you been? Now you can talk about me. Uh, I've been okay. Have you looked at the sun recently? Um, not since the eclipse. So if you take your eclipse glasses mm -hmm. and look at the sun, uh, you will see a gigantic um, collection of sunspots. Oh. Easily naked eye visible when properly filtered. Let's try that out. Showed it to many many people today at the at the science center. So I sh I should be able to see those through the eclipse glasses. Yep. Should be easy. Looks anything, like there's lots of sunlight. Will be anything photo worthy? Can, um. It's a it's a really interesting group of sunspot groups. Mm -hmm. So there's there's one large sunspot that's not part of that group, but that group doesn't have any really big sunspots in it. But there's just lots of them. So it's it's pretty unusual. It's not particularly photogenic, but it's unusual. Make a note so I don't forget to look at that tomorrow. Yeah, it's um, it's rotating off the uh, Earth-facing side of the sun soon, so you should definitely take a look soon. I suggest doing it during the daytime. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> not much point in going right now. That was uh, that was my guess. Not sure when the sun is setting for you there, but it's probably then by now. It's Close. about 8 p.m. here, so. Yeah. I've left myself a note. Ooh, Rob People Palmer. moving around on the screen. Very confusing. <laughs> Hi, Carolyn. Hello. Oh, we have to stop talking now. Rob Palmer's here. <laughs> Oh dear. What a beautifully fake image. <laughs> no, I'm not an avatar. What are you talking about? Well, no, I was talking about the now, now it's a beautiful eclipse photo. See. Rob's not doing around, so I don't care what his background is. <laughs> it is true. I am not. You looked at the list, huh? Who is doing around? Gail, Carl, Janine, Lee, and Romero. You mean Kyle? Yes, of course. Okay. Oh, Leonard, I wanted to ask you if you're watching Three Body Pro Three Body uh, Problem. I have not. Ah, there, there is a um, there's a series on YouTube. Uh, an astronomer comments on three body problem. And it's a guy I've heard his name before. Right now it's escaping me, but it was, it's actually pretty good. He comments on the science and everything. Hello, folks. <laughs> I actually have gotten quite addicted to it. I read half of the first novel of the trilogy, and then I decided, well, let me just watch the series in Chinese because <laughs> it did the whole first book, which was 30 hours. And uh, actually, I watched that second. First, I watched the Netflix version, which is like, I think, eight episodes, maybe 10. But yeah. And uh, the Netflix was, the, the Chinese series was very similar to the book, at least the part I read. And then I re read other people talking about it, and they, they stuck to it pretty well. The Netflix series goes totally in a different direction, different kind of characters and whatever. But I actually liked it better. Well, I I did not like the book. I, I oh, did you read? Book. Did you read just the first one then? Yeah, just the first one. I found it somewhere between boring um, and just silly. Yeah. So, can you imagine watching the uh, thirty hours of 
<laughs> of translating that yeah. to screen like uh so I kept hoping it would get better I, I understand that it's it's well that the the netflix series is is nicely produced very yeah. well done yeah. polished production and if it deviates significantly from the story in the uh, novel that may be better it does yeah and, and you know watching it with a uh, um, a Western mentality and use of cinema, whatever. It was faster pace. It was tighter. I thought they described things in a uh, more concise manner, whereas the Chinese version just drew everything. They literally had one person talking for 10 minutes, whereas in the uh, Netflix version, there's multiple characters and they talk to each other and, and iron it out. It just went better. They did change the thrust of, I don't want to give, well, you read the first book, yeah, of, of the invasion scenario a little bit but well, there um, is no there is no invasion in the first book invasion scenario right yeah they, they, they find they, they find out they find out what's happening in the first book they find out what's happening that they're on their way and it's gonna be 400 years they they find out that there's probably something on the way right yes, at right. the very end so what are you doing? but they they don't i don't think they really well described why uh Wei Zhang, I think that's his name, the, the main character was seeing the uh the countdown or how they were doing that, or nor how they were communicating with them, did they? Oh yeah, yeah, they got into the protons. They did get into the protons that were uh that well, were that, yeah, that were... which which was one of the things that pissed me off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well that's that's the, the give me you have to take here. Yeah. Yeah. Um now now I know so what you're talking about, final. <laughs> I read the second book for sci-fi uh, book club and um just the second wait did you, you mean the first and second or did you just read no the we we read the the second book and so oh, I I personally hated it and um people said well if you read the first book it would have been easier and I said well you didn't suggest the first book so <laughs> um <laughs> So anyway, um, and then watching the Netflix thing, you know, it's like, I, I know these names. Why do I know these names? And then it, the, the light bulb came on and I went in and I said, oh, OK, that's from first book that I didn't read. And and it's like, I don't remember any of this, of these people and stuff. So like you said, it was completely. Different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they created are... characters. Well, actually, I, what I read other where uh, elsewhere was some of the ca main characters in the netflix series the uh the oxford five were from the other books interestingly uh, oh, okay. so you didn't remember anybody from the second one they kind of meshed them all together at the same time period where initially they weren't something like mm. that okay so does the netflix get any better i i had a friend recommend it i watched one show and was just bored silly it, one is all set up for the characters it gets much okay much all right i just yeah. I agree with Leonard. I think it's somewhere between boring. Well, and, I, I haven't I haven't seen the the show. Um, oh. I, I was hoping it would be like um, Foundation, the Apple TV yeah. uh, series of Foundation. Ha, ha, which like it, like, like I it. I think won't if wait. Asimov were still alive, that show would kill him. Yes, yes. Um, because it is so antithetical to everything in his stories. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but as a as a standalone story, it's okay. Yeah, I agree. I, I I had trouble in the first season getting over the fact that it kept deviating and not getting yeah the same names, but they were totally different people and whatever. But then I guess I gave it time. In the second season, I enjoyed a lot more. Just it's a standalone science fiction story. I'll accept it that way. That just you know steals names, which is unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. And the occasional concept. So so I don't remember anything. So and I haven't read it since I was a teenager, so I may have just forgotten it. Was there anything about this cloned empire thing in the in the books? Um I don't remember if there was. It would have been exceptionally minor. It may there may have been something like that, but I really don't remember. But it was like yeah, and here it's a major character arc and you know, major I, plot development. Oh yeah, I haven't read the books, but I've I've read a lot about the books. And none of them mentioned anything about the the trio of emperor clones. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, my favorite part of the TV no, show, the, the whole dawn dusk day thing, is not there. Yeah. Okay. So they didn't. Not, I love that about the TV show. Yeah, it it actually it makes it good. So it's interesting. Yeah, they do a they do a good job with it. So is the um thing you've been seeing on YouTube is that Doctor Becky? No, it's no, it's a guy. Uh, I'll look it up. See if I can find it. Uh, the in my I just watched the part. He's doing 
one episode a week and he just did episode four recently which i just watched yesterday let me see it should be in my list yeah it's it's, it's unfortunate it's very easy well it's relatively easy to make very convincing seeming video michael um, siegel that's... so his name is okay. michael siegel s-i-e-g-e-l and it says astrophysicist reacts to three body problem is the name of the uh, series okay i don't i don't know this guy I, i've seen him elsewhere and i don't remember where maybe on i don't know but yeah, he, he comments on the, the astronomy and physics parts of it. But he also, in the series, he's like playing little clips of it. And then he comments on what he likes or doesn't like about them. Right. Yeah, I just, I, I've gotten very gun shy about people that claim to have expertise and know how to make videos that um, have expertise in making videos and in being convincing. But they don't actually have expertise in the field they're claiming it yeah yeah well you know he comments on the science inaccuracies and everything he said in my limited understanding as a mechanical engineer i agree with um, yeah and know. that's 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 <laughs> dangerous <laughs> <laughs> it's like my my favorite class of comment i'll see on facebook basically says hi i know nothing about this subject i saw these videos they're really good. I learned a lot. <laughs> if you know nothing, how do you know anything you learned was true? So, so you, you you read the book and you know the whole the situation where they do the VR thing, right? For the free body problem, right? In the book. Yeah. If you remember that, right? And Carolyn, I don't know if they continued that in the second book or, or it was done with, but in uh, it's basically done with by the end of the first book at least as far as the chinese 30 part series is uh, they they get to the end they find out what it's all about and whatever and in both both that version and the netflix version the the three sons when they line Hello, up everyone. they pull everything off the planet <laughs> and you know and and the astrophysicist goes crazy on that and that i was like yeah. no 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 so you know, it's 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 a virtual reality. It's a video game essentially. It's not clear if it's intended to be that's the way it worked in the real world. But then you find out, at least in the Chinese version, it wasn't clear in the Netflix version that what you're seeing in the VR world is actually what happened to this other civilization. So that's a little weird. Yeah, there were some major eye roll moments. <laughs> yeah, but I got I got to say the the, the you know, a large part of the Chinese one was being in the VR simulation and it sucked. I read you guys aren't talking about VR, are you? What's no. that? No. No, we're talking not. about a TV show. They may have done oh. that on purpose because the book was written okay. like 15 years ago or something, and they were trying to, you know, basically mimic the way human technology would have been with VR at the time. Human technology. <laughs> and in the Netflix version, it is clearly alien tech and it is perfect. So that was a really big difference. So like the, you know, the insinuated thing is that the aliens gave their cult the technology at their level. And it is like, you know, literally the guy reaches down and picks up dirt and, and I taste dirt, you know, in the VR world. So, what do you mean but, there's not a, a link to the, to the Facebook thing? Did I screw up? No. Susan talking to Mark. I'm talking to you. What link to what Facebook? What are you talking about? I'm talking to Karen. She is writing to you. She's writing. So I don't know what invite she means. She probably the say the Facebook. It, thing. it but worked the, for me. But the Facebook event has a link. Yeah, it worked for me. That's how I got on. That's why I don't. Yeah, That's how I got there. On. Karen, we don't know what you're talking about. What you talking about? And my chat has last week's chat in it. Oh, that That's is weird. So that is really weird. weird. She's disappearing. Yes, she said that. And she's reappearing. She's going to I'm gonna go the get second um, Thursday. A Dr. Pepper. Anybody want anything? And I think there's cookies <laughs> in there too. Mm. Well, Karen can go, yeah, I'll be right there. I wonder if I have some popcorn here too. To to paraphrase Norm from Cheers, computers can't live with them. Pass the beer nuts. <laughs> there's no limit, huh? I'm trying to scroll. <laughs> it's her page. She's sharing and I'm trying to scroll. 
no link. It says go to link. Yeah, it works. Karen must be your side of the house. The I must be your side of the block. The uh, go to link thing was not there. But it's on mine. Uh, hmm. so Facebook is weird. Yeah. That's what everybody says. I, Look, here's I, here's mine, May 9th. Go, go to, to link. link. Yeah, that's what mine did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Facebook did is Did anybody weird. notice I, if Karen said May 9th or if it was an old link? I didn't notice. I don't know. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to get... Nobody wants a cookie? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Um... If you have a, an extra cookie, go for it. So, so I I, I'm suspecting the trisolarians, uh, you know, who who broke physics to to hold the human race down, are breaking our computer systems and making these kinds of things happen. So, I I have I have an example right here. I'm looking at it right now. The article I published with Susan in Skeptical Inquirer on March 27th. If I look on my computer, the video is embedded right where it's supposed to be. If I look at it on my phone, there's a blank space there. There is nothing there. Mm -hmm. So I actually wrote to Barry about this and I thought maybe there's something wrong with the code for mobile devices or whatever. He says, no, he has an iPhone, he sees it. So he's got a different iPhone, I asked him which kind. So there's something freaking unexplainable at this moment happening with that. So do Who's you have an iPhone? of letting people in the room, you're not doing it fast enough. Rob, uh -huh. do you have an iPhone? Yes, Barry has a seven. Uh, um, and I have an 11, and uh, he sees it, and I don't. I'm looking at yeah, it right now. There's no video on that article on the phone. It's just a big blank spot. Yeah. Are you still talking uh... about that? What? Engineers, I tell you. Well, anyone opening this with an iPhone, at least in some regards, a 7, or maybe it's the OS, I don't know, does not see maybe the video. And yet, and yet, I look at the other articles where they've embedded my videos, and they're there. So there's something different. Yeah, I don't know what um, it is. I I blame all of this on Microsoft. <sighs> so back in the late '90s, um, Microsoft trained people to expect software right. to suck. <laughs> and as a result, everybody's expectation for software quality fell through the floor. That's so people just produced crap. And it has become Microsoft. normal now. Microsoft mm. Millennium. <laughs> Microsoft anything. Well, it was I love 98. Early, 98 was, it was really already firmly in, entrenched by Microsoft Millennium Edition. I'm talking about Windows 3.1. <laughs> you can barely see it. It's not bright, but like there's the text of the article. And you go down here and right in this big blank spot is supposed to be the there's video. A hole. There's a hole there. Yep. It's not like it's invisible and you click it. It doesn't do anything. There's nothing there. Right. No, um, yeah. and, and yet, And yet, I just looked. I haven't looked at them all because I have tons of videos like this. But I looked at five of them and they're all okay. Are you joining the us today, Hamilton? What? Hamilton has decided to join us. Okay. Hi, Hamilton. He's on my team. It would be helpful if someone was doing that category. Can Hamilton? you uh, scratch okay. Hamilton behind the ear for me? He said, thank you. There you go. Pretend that's Did you hear Hamilton. about the cat that got returned to Amazon? Yeah. What? And without food or water for a long time. Yeah. Six days. Yeah. Cat, it was, they were returning something in a box, and the cat got in the box, and they didn't know. Wow! <laughs> How did they finally figure it out? I don't know. Did the cat make noise, or? Yeah, the cat was in the in the storage area at Amazon, and they heard the, it was moving or heard noise, and they opened it up to see what was going on, and the cat came out. They got lucky. It was fine. The family was frantic. They had put up picture, you know, posters and. And because they were looking for him, they couldn't figure out where he went. Did you say you wanted to go to Amazon? Oh. <laughs> I think he just says that. So. You want to so go to Camelton? Paula Serrano, to Amazon? Paula Serrano moved from um Saris to, to New York City. And, New York uh, City. And had her, you know, working Can at we the, still say that? Know, at the UN. Mm -hmm. Work had her cat in a carrier and she labeled it clearly in, in addition to all the other paperwork. 
JFK right in the front and it wound up in Dallas. And, and when she landed and the cat wasn't there, no one knew where it was for like a day. Well, wow, it's horrible. That's terrifying. Yeah. I think I'd have to have my cat on my lap. That's what we like did. Box. Ours were under our seats when we moved. Yeah, that's how I, I can. Oh, look at your kitty. Oh, Hamilton's getting closer. He says, I want to be on the mic. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> what would we do without you around you are just so interesting aren't you he sleeps all day huh he knows i have popcorn what do you do with it smell it so exciting things are happening you guys it's always fun when things are happening that are exciting uh, like what <laughs> Putin may invade some of the European countries. Hmm? Putin, Putin may invade some of the European countries. Start a mini war. Oh, with. gee, I, I thought I was having a good week. And thanks for, <laughs> thanks for bringing the tone down a little bit there. Some reality. You know, I was just thinking I just got this new book and I mean, I just started it. And it's really good. And I just answered some great emails and. Blame Putin. Blame Putin. He's the one who wants to work. We have a new fence in the backyard. Yay. You what, Carolyn? We have a new fence in the backyard. See? See? Those are the things that make that our life exciting. Better. Yeah, it's just a pretty backyard. I was really, really impressed with your backyard. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Mine's well, wild. Yours is very structured and pretty and neat. And Well, when we first bought it, there was a lot of... um vegetables and like a lemon tree and stuff but unfortunately we live near the the lake and the canal and so there was also like teeth marks on said <laughs> so uh really Bigfoot, chupacabra what is it Tesla? um no we have a lot we had rats and so to discourage the rats um i plus i just wanted an ornamental garden i didn't i didn't want to do vegetables anyway so um, so yeah, that's what we did. We did all that. And... You have some beautiful roses. I do not have the patience to grow roses anymore. I have such an aphid problem and you know, you can spray them and you can get. Oh, I, know. Or... I I have to spray twice a week now. It's it, this year is awesome. weird, but, um, yeah, one of the roses, well, four or five of them come from my parents, but one of them was a cutting came from a cutting from my great grandmother's. So it was handed down to my grandmother and then my mother, and now I have it. So I would definitely have to keep that if it was there. But yeah, I remember you saying that in the video. I thought that was part of the, one of the most charming parts of your garden is that a lot of the plants are from your family. Yeah. My mom loved geraniums. I'm not a huge geranium person, but I didn't have the heart to get rid of them. So I brought them with me. So I got a lot of geraniums. Tomorrow is my, I worked Monday and Tuesday in the yard transplant a lot of stuff i'm redoing the front yard and so tomorrow is my next day in the garden as long as we don't have an invasion by uh putin somewhere thanks cindy yeah let me message him right now yeah nice jamie how's the weather how how is friday mm. it's nice it's supposed to rain today 100% chance of rain, but there's not a cloud in the sky. See, Cindy, Putin hasn't invaded anything. Jamie would have mentioned that. Well, yeah. It's That's Friday. tomorrow. So we well, know we have at least till tomorrow that that's not going to happen. It went, out, it went out of the firing line like you guys. As, well, she said Europe. Oh, scary, 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 scary stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we ready to start? <laughs> Almost. How better get going on that? Hi, oh, there aren't many Hi, of Cap. them. Kat got a promotion. She's now bribed. Oh, I'm sorry. She's now a skeptic zone reporter. <laughs> Yay. I love that maple leaf uh, origami he made. Oh, it's just gorgeous. You have it? Richard oh, Chandler's using neat. Canadian wow. money made. It just no, no, no. that. This is Canadian tire money. Yeah. What's what? tire money? All different Otherwise kettle of known as coupons. Right. Yeah. Oh. Isn't it? He just invented it. Oh my gosh. Well, I asked him to. I gave him 
I know, but some actual origami you- paper. And then I gave him Canadian tire money. And I'm like, could you make me a maple leaf out of this? Hey, can you tell me what is, tire, what is tire it, money? It's a coupon. Yeah, it's kind of like a coupon. When you go there and you spend money, they give you some of this in return for your next purchases. I was like those green stamp books that my mom and grandma used to collect when they went shopping. They get these green stamps. They fill the up the book. Remember those green it's stamps? Like, they yeah, it's like Jeffrey dollars. It's like yeah. Jeffrey. Since I used to do that, Cindy, I feel very old now. I remember those. Cat, do you have a piece of tire money that isn't folded? No, I gave them all to Richard oh. Saunders. But there is a Wikipedia page on it. Tire money? Canadian tire money. It's spelled T I R E. Yes, as in the things on cars. But wow. the American way, not the British way. Canadian. So, how big are they normally? Just like the size of a, an American dollar bill. That's long. Oh, it's a loyalty program operated by Canadian title. Oh. Remember these? Yes, I do e- remember those. Eagle no. stamps? I remember green stamps. Oh, I don't remember Eagle stamps. We had S and H. We had S and H green stamps. We had like blue chip or something. Bring blue chip. Yeah. I still have some out in my storage <laughs> shed. Of course you do, Janine. I I have the ones that I showed in the photo. My mom used to just take them and she'd get them and she'd shove them in a drawer and bug the heck out of me because the drawer was full of rubber bands and twisty ties. and That's the Jesus drawer. Because every time you go to open it, you go, ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and that's every Canadian in their Jesus drawer has got Canadian tire money. Except me now because I gave all mine to Rich. Okay, and so they don't do it tires. anymore. It's now all on a, a card. So. so do they only uh, sell tires? No, they sell everything. It's Richard's favorite store. Oh, Adrian was telling me about this. It started as a tire store, but it became a... It like went into automotives, and now it's got housewares and garden centers. It's like a Walmart. Walmart, arcade. yeah. Not as nasty as a Walmart, but... Hey, hey, don't be... We have those, too. Don't, don't be putting down our Walmarts. That's where we get our color. It's beautiful. You yeah. get there, and you go, all right, life is weird. I love it here. People weird. <laughs> okay, we're about to start. I got to get ready here. I need to quit chit chatting with you all. Why is it telling me that I can admit people? Because you are you have one power. of the people with a thing tonight. Oh, okay. And I decided also... I'm just going to give it to you early. Oh, okay. Because I also got a really weird message and I thought I left maybe a Zoom room open or something the other day that I manage, a different, totally different one. And so I was confused. <laughs> the way Zoom is misbehaving, it could possibly have been that. Susan sees her well, chat I wondered if it was a back door. To... Did anybody else see their chat from last week? No. Nope. No. 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 Even the people I've given uh, co-host permissions to? I don't know. Where will I find it? Go to no. chat and just scroll back. Uh, There's also was... a lot of differences between co-hosts and true hosts, though. Yeah. Wow. No. Okay, so we have Gail. You're starting. Okay. Carl, you're second. Janine, you're third. Lee, you're fourth. And Romero, who's not here yet, is on bonus. Okay, I don't hear anything. Okay, so cool. Let me let me create the rooms. I I still have the ongoing Zoom glitch as of Monday anyway. Of I cannot do emojis when I'm in an RFRX Monday meeting. I well, why do, would you want to? Everyone because emojis chat, are everything. Everyone in the chat uses them, but then I right, see them being used, and, and the option is not there for me. I see it here. I can do it right now. I'm going to do an emoji right now. You know, somebody wants there you to emoji. know you're an outsider. It's it's the same program. And I can do it here, and I can't do it elsewhere when other people can. So because we're special, go figure that one out. Because if you go, if you go to Zoom and you search for this problem, there's no recognition that this is a problem anywhere else. Like I'm unique. Conspiracy. Yeah. Maybe it's just a setting that the owner of the account has set. That Rob Palmer cannot do it, and everyone else can. That's what it would have to be. <laughs> oh, I have that setting on my computer. Uh, <laughs> Did you guys all yeah. have that Rob Palmer setting? Want to go over yeah. there, Neil? Engineers uh, are not. There's a secret faith have... group 
there's a secret face group for developers where they all discuss ways to code things to fuck over Rob Palmer. I think it's a cabal. <laughs> well, now it's on Zoom and on my phone, so I'm starting to believe that, Carl. I think it's true. I hope that's not the same people in charge of the Jewish space laser, because, you know, my house is... You're, you're actually in a very long-running episode of The Twilight Zone. Sooner or later, you're just going to completely lose it. <laughs> he did that at the Truman Show. Yeah. Ooh, Kennedy with a yeah. worm in his brain. Oh, my God, <laughs> you guys. I, oh. I, I opened up my, my phone. I'm in bed. I'm reading the New York Times like I do every morning in bed, <laughs> sitting there, and that is the headline that jumps out at me, and I'm like, yeah. what the... Wait, what? <laughs> I missed it. What's the headline? The Kennedy oh, has you... a worm that eats. Oh, yeah, brain. brain worm. A brain worm. Yeah. I'm like, what in the world? I mean, come on. Well, come what on. It explains an awful lot, Susan. It does explain. That's true. It does, and the mercury. It ate part of his brain. So there you go. He said he's had he has had mercury poisoning because of all the fish he's eaten. Yeah. So See, tell me about that. Fish. I don't eat seafood, so I don't worry about it. Is that really? Can, can you? Can that happen? But I just I think you can. Yeah. yeah. You can overdo it. Yeah. I know it's somebody who had it. Yeah, it's just into, saying that no one. Should, Leonard is shaking his head. No. It's not going to turn you into um, Robert oh, Kennedy Jr. <laughs> no, no. But you can get <laughs> mercury poisoning. Thank you, Leonard. <laughs> yeah, you can get mercury poisoning, but that's not an excuse for being a dumb shit. No, right. not well, that. I am the worm eating, eating your brain. brain. What you eat from the ocean, the worm and the worm eating. eating his brain sounds more like a result of the mercury poisoning than an actual <laughs> uh, thing. Diagnosis. Apparently, yeah. apparently the, wor the worm ate the part of the brain that keeps you from being batshit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's entitled, and you know he's a Kennedy, so he's got like, and his dad was assassinated, and his uncle was assassinated, and. His uncle was a president. I mean, his life is just that guy's like he must. Hmm? Does he have siblings? Yeah, yeah of course. course. Does he have does, does he have any brothers? Well, a dead one. Besides the dead one. Wait, I don't know how many he has. Well, the dead one Ted? They're a very close family, from what I understand, right? Uh, we're talking about yeah. Junior, not no. Yeah. yeah, Ted would be an uncle. I think they uh, kind of distance themselves from him because he is so wacky. I think yes, they, they, say, have they did. He's they... a nice man. Pay no attention to him. <laughs> it's not his fault. A worm is controlling his brain. Can you imagine all the worm poop that's accumulated around his cerebellum? There was there was a series on. Um, I'm I want to say less than ten years ago. And Carl would no doubt know. Maybe Ben. Where ants from space were controlling all the people in Washington by getting into their heads and controlling. Remember that? Uh, yeah. What's the name, yeah. What's the name of that? It was just a political science fiction. Yeah. What was the name of that? What was the name I, of that? Uh, so that the first thing I thought of when I heard about this work, it was <laughs> called the um, Republican Party. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they all had dinner together. Sci-fi movie. movie. What was they it? All, they all got round worms that, that have made their way to their brains. No, it was it was ants. I remember ants. Growing. Yeah. I, well. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Wait. I'm talking I need, about the I real. Need pause. The real Republican Party. Oh. Oh. oh okay. okay. Pause. Yeah. The best part of any Wikipedia page is the personal personal side. Okay. Now we wouldn't gossip about anybody else, but this is Robert Kennedy Jr. So let me sum this up to you. He has two kids with this woman named Emily. He met at the law school and one of the kids is um a uh, bobby kennedy and the other one is kathleen kennedy okay then they separated and divorced in 94 then he marries this other woman aboard a research vessel on the hudson river they had four children he filed for divorce from mary and then she was found dead in a building on the grounds of her home uh, due to suicide, due to asphyxiation from hanging. And then later it's reported that Mary had seen Kennedy's personal journal from 2001 in which he reported sexual encounters with 37 different women. And yeah. then he, some brave woman decides to marry him again in 2014. And uh, I guess they're still married, but he's got six kids. But can you imagine what this guy's He's toxic in a lot of ways. My Can't God. keep it in his pants. <laughs> he, should, he should be very attractive to the Trump supporters. Yeah. yeah. He's just like 
<laughs> he documented oh, 37 sexual encounters. Just, just like, like, okay. Oh, the, whole, the whole Kennedy plan. Cheating on his wife, like. You know what? You know why I took Ted. It. You know why I took Ted Kennedy eight hours to report the accident at Jabaquita. I thought he was drunk. No. Do you know how hard it is to dress a girl underwater? Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> bad one, Lee. Bad one. Did you say dredge? I'm thinking about it. Dress. Now. Oh, dress. Dress, dress a said... girl underwater. Okay. Yeah. Right. Sorry. That's... <laughs> Up to my, that was that old, old college right. joke stuff. All of our all of our fans are gonna be like, what? I thought he's at I, I first time it's like dress. No, no dress. 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 Oh my that was that and man replaced oh no. apparel. He should not have ever I, I I understand he's a wonderful politician, but no, he should never have been. Oh. But then again. All right. So, 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 so how, how has no comedian that I've seen anyway? I've seen a lot of presenters mention this brain dead thing just too long ago, 2016. Hmm. Brain I, dead. I never heard of it. it was Colbert really was on it last night. He said that he's got mercury po poisoning because the fish were jumping into his brain. I, I saw that. To the fish. To get the worm. To get to the worm. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to send you guys your rooms. <laughs> okay. It's it's lean for the moment. It'll pick up. So deal with it. Just the cool kids are here early. That's all. That's true. Well, I've heard from a bunch of other people telling me they're on their way or whatever. Chase came back. How Hi. many teams? How many teams? Susan, how many teams did you did you put together? Same as I so, always do. So does everybody have just two or three people? Yeah. 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 We are really short tonight. Except for hey, our, that's our a personal. Team, we have we have seven people in it. You don't have seven people. <laughs> <laughs> we're not including. We're not including worms. Nah. <laughs> people will people will join us. Don't worry. Otherwise, it's just you and Bill. That should be interesting, Alan. Uh, depends <laughs> on the categories. Well, fifty percent of our team is very good. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, Bill. And then there's me. <laughs> Pick on Bill. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll deal with it. Okay. So let's go with our team names: Gail, Cat, Rob. Rob, will you do it? Yeah. So um, this is about the trial, but not directly said in the trial this is i i subscribed to a lawyer youtube channel and they kept saying this about stormy daniels testimony don't worry about it it's about the checks not the sex you spelled it the american way well it's an american thing what checks you want a q in there Q U E S. why would i do that when it's an american trial of an american president with american porn star why would i do yes. that because my way's better <laughs> Well, you you spelled tire with an I, and we and everyone knows that it's spelled with a Y. Ugh. British Ugh. spell it with a Y. Ugh. That's what I'm All talking right, let's about. Let's not start Thank a you. start a, a, a international a division within our community. Incident. Yeah, we already know they're crazy for putting U's in everything. Ugh. Okay, Cindy, Carl, <laughs> Leonard. If one of us has a worm in our brain, does that count to the team member? <laughs> uh, Ben, I think Carolyn, it might, it might be a one for one substitution if that happens. The worm is actually in control. So it's just a little. I can just see him with the little levers, like, you know, he's, yeah. he's <laughs> sitting in a little chair with a little screen in front of him. Well, we assume it's maybe. a he. It could be a she. Oh, oh. RFK's worm starved to death. That, that's our take on it. <laughs> the brain eating worm had nothing to eat. Yeah. Couldn't find it. It had nothing to eat. <laughs> oh. Jamie and Lee. RFK well, Jr. was furious. This is parasitic worm. He gave it a piece of his mind. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of worm stuff related yes. to tonight. Apparently, right, Bill and Alan. I've had earworms, but never brain worm. So uh, don't worry, be happy. Oh, we almost had a, we almost had a complete uh, um, worm uh, sweep. You guys about worms. Oh my god. We need to take our worm pills. <laughs> 
this, I saw somebody. Ivermectin. Said, yeah, somebody I <laughs> saw uh, had posted saying, "Who knew that ivermectin actually would have helped?" <laughs> 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 oh my god! Maybe that killed him because I'm sure he might have had. It's very likely he had some ivermectin. <sighs> okay, very good, very good, everybody. It's not about the checks. It's about the checks, not the sex. If one of us has a worm in our brain, does it count as a team member versus RFK's worm starved to death versus RFK Jr. was furious with this parasitic worm. He gave it a piece of his mind versus I've had earworms, but never brain worm. So don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> oh, my God. We'll look back on these in a few years and we'll just, oh my God. What? What were we talking we'll about? I wonder what the hell we're talking <laughs> yeah. about. No, no. I don't think we'll ever forget this time. What? And the thing about it is, is we'll look back knowing what's going to happen. Oh, you know, we have. Okay. Because this, we're is, gonna a, have this is a great concept Kennedy. for a trivia round. You, you pick round, you pick round na team names from like two years ago and. People, the challenge is people have to name what the news event it was named for. Oh, mm -hmm. I want to have a really good idea. <laughs> I can remember good that. You shouldn't have told us that. We're all going to go back and look now. <laughs> yeah, That's a good I have no problem. Yeah. I think that we're going to, I think President Kennedy Jr. will be, <laughs> will say, what a wonderful president he was. <laughs> we all have worms in our heads, just like he does. All I right. want to welcome our tapeworm overlords. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we were worried about AI. Back when we were worried about AI. Okay, Gail, you are up. Okay. Um, our first category today is important things that happened in the 1960s. And you will notice that yeah. I put the spacewalk on my, because I wanted to say that I know that's the most important thing that probably happened in the 1960s. However, uh, I knew that would be too easy. I In fact, I'm sorry that this stuff is too easy. <laughs> we'll we know it's important because I was born. Yep. At least to me, it was pretty important. Okay. Question one. The Hollywood Walk of Fame official groundbreaking was on February 8th, 1960. Blank is often credited with being the first to be honored. According to Wikipedia, this myth was per perpetuated because she was the first to be photographed with her star, one of eight randomly drawn to be a prototype out of thousands. Who was this star? My original question, by the way, was who, who, who was the first person? Fortunately, I double-checked it. Yeah, out out <laughs> okay, number two. Hanna Barbera debuted the second most successful and longest running cartoon in television history. Only The Simpsons have done better. What was its title? Number three. The off, this office item was called an icon of progress when it went on sale on July 31st, 1961. It sold 80,000 of them in its first year. It dominated offices until IBM retired the final model in 1986 with 13 million sold. What was it? What was its name? George. Leonard. Well, I, yes. I said name. I, I just don't want was just looking the at the on your mouth. <laughs> the reason I said name rather than this, not the, the kind of thing, the name of that particular one. Okay. Number four, Martin Luther King gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. What inter that interesting unplanned thing happened during the speech that gave it that memorable name? Number five. President Kennedy was assassinated on what date? And this is an exact. Assassinated? 
<laughs> well, by the CIA. Mm. I thought he was <laughs> still around. I knew better than to ask who did it. <laughs> you get about the worms were hours. in control. <laughs> uh, day of the day of the day of the week. Date. It says date. date. Don't be a smart ass. Okay. <laughs> Number six. February 9th, 1964. 75 million viewers watched the Beatles debut in America on the Ed Sullivan show singing what song? You could hear them singing? I thought it was just a bunch of people screaming at <laughs> men who looked like they were Well, we're gonna yeah, no, gonna, I know what you mean. There's I'm gonna play a there really is a song. So you'll hear the screaming too. Okay. Seven. A famous US landmark was finished on October twenty eighth, nineteen sixty five. What is it? Eight. A significant achievement in children's television debuted on November 10th, 1969, and continues to be watched by current children. What was its name? Number nine. Although the science, this science fiction film was not well received when it debuted in 1968, many critics now consider it one of the best films ever made. What is it? Blasphemy. <laughs> I haven't seen Blasphemy. It's a factual statement, not an opinion. <laughs> many. Their opinion. Blasphemy. And finally, number 10, it was August 15th to 18th, 1969, and it was the Woodstock Rock Festival. What was either its official title or exactly where it took place? Your choice. Any questions? No, this looks fun. Okay. How much detail do you need for the exact location of the Woodstock Rock Festival? She wants the um, the, the location latitude versus um yeah the name, of the, you, the name of the place or the kind of place will work sort of okay. if you've got the right location Latin right. longitude to six decimal places for the for the to the second to six decimal places. All right, let me go help team one. <laughs> let me try. There's a little button. There's the little button. Oh, we have somebody else. It's hey, Susan. me. Don't get excited. He's Susan. like, oh, it's Susan. <laughs> I thought, I thought we were getting another team member at Sue. I was not born in the 60s, so this is a very hard category for me. Yeah, well, I, I was well, like... I did, and my cat, and my cat left. So, I mean, you know, I was... Uh, at, least, at least I got a worm. <laughs> I might remember right. some of these. Do we know any of them? Either oh, cat Yes, or I do know some of them. Okay, which, which, let's we, go with we, one. What do you know? What do I know? Number two is going to be the Flintstones. What? You mean what? Hanna Barbera debuted the second most successful and longest running cartoon in television history. It's the Flintstones. Okay. All right, go with that. Are you thinking it's something different? I, I I thought of that first, and then I thought, well, it couldn't have run for more than three or four years, and like The Simpsons have been on for freaking thirty five years. So if that's thirty five years, still be yeah, the but... second most, it still could be the second most, but it anywhere any anywhere, there's nothing close to The Simpsons. Nothing close uh, to The Simpsons. What I else has Hanna Barbera done? Uh, the, Jetson, the Jetsons. The Jetsons. The Jetsons. Yeah, but they did I did Mickey not... Mouse, not Mickey Mouse. Um, 
Bugs Bunny? Nope. No, and that was way before. Bugs Bunny was like, they had World War II cartoons with Bugs Bunny. Um, Blink twice if I'm right. <laughs> yeah, so all right, here, we'll go with Flintstones. Uh, so does anyone ha have an idea for one? I, I wrote Marilyn Monroe, but I don't that know. That was my guess. Marilyn Monroe. Was Marilyn. All right, I'll leave that one. Because she would have been a, uh, she would have been very photogenic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, the type that would have been the prototype. And she was big at the time. So I think that could be. Um, so she wants an exact name for three, like Univac. I mean, is that what she's talking about? I was I thinking know. it's the IBM Selectric typewriter. Is that a thing? I had never. Heard it of. is a thing, but it could just be because that's my favorite of the typewriters. Electric. So, like with an S with electric? S? Electric. Yes. Okay. That 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 sounds like right. That's a name, and it's IBM. Um, uh, is it was... because he he repeated "I have a dream" three times? I think it was. You know what it was? I think it was a dove, or something with a bird that happened to do something. You know, it didn't poop on him, but it was like a. Um, <clears throat> Are you, are you Obviously fabricating, not that are you fabricating this story because it sounds good or do you remember something like this? I remember something like this. It had to do with a bird. Uh, okay. Or was it a dove that like I thought it was landed on I have him a dream because he says that in the speech. He didn't fall asleep which would make sense from what she said. What? I had a dream. What is memorable about the speech to give us its, its name? Yeah, no, I don't think so. He was standing up at the podium. I don't think he fell asleep. I do remember, I seem to remember recordings where I had a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. Like he said it multiple times. So that was my first thought. That's not but unplanned. I don't, I don't know if that was enough to do it. Um, a bird makes sense if that happened. But what does that have to do with the, I have a dream that makes it the, the name? Maybe it was a dove. I don't know. And what would it have done? I don't know. Let's leave. I have a feeling it landed somewhere, like on his on the podium or that. something. Black Turner. I don't remember that. All right. Okay. Assassination okay, date eleven twenty two sixty three. Right. Wow. Right. I mean, ten, not eleven. Wait a minute. Who? Shit. Is it November? October? I think it's October. October what? October. Ten twenty two sixty three. I think so. I didn't. I, I thought it was July. So <laughs> no, it's definitely fall. I don't but remember. It. That's just because I see the the film of it, and it looks like summer to me. Whereas November, well, it's, Canada. it's Texas. It's Texas. But it's Texas because you're from Edmonton. <laughs> yeah, Kenny okay, driving. I in had Oklahoma. snow all over me on Monday, and it's like plus twenty three outside now, which is like uh, it was what seventy eight like Fahrenheit, 70? something stupid. Oh, now this is gonna annoy me. This is actually the name, by the way of of the of the novel about it by Stephen King the, the numbers are the name of the novel and I read it and I watched the movie now it's buggy man I don't remember if it was 10 or 11 uh, what are you talking about well your instant was 11 22 63 that's what I said first didn't I yeah so you went November uh, go with your gut shit. Ooh, his gut go with your worm shit <laughs> Okay, so the the song was I want to hold. So what I was talking about is that that is the name of Stephen King's book about the time traveling back to prevent the assassination. Well, the I already name, forgot it because it it's time travel. The name is the date. Yeah. Okay, so I want to hold your hand. I think it is. I want to hold. Yeah, your that's hand. what I wrote down. I want to hold your hand. I I remote viewed and I knew you wrote it down. All right. <laughs> Any landmark come to mind? What are they talking about? The only thing I could think of was the Seattle Space Needle. But I have no, no that's nineteen sixty two or sixty one. How the fuck would I know? I wasn't even a thought in my parents. <laughs> well, I went there. <laughs> I went there and I remembered it was on my it was it was it was a world fair and it was sixty two, I think, because uh, it was the same year I was born, I think. So is it possible that they put some finishing touches on Mount Rushmore? How about the um the arch? The St. Arch. Louis Arch. The St. Louis right. Arch. That could that be about sixty five. No idea. That might that might be. Let's do that. I'm gonna go see it soon. Uh, eight has to be Sesame Street. Right? It yeah, is so Sesame Street. I knew that one as soon as I saw the date. 
<laughs> Can you tell me how to get, how to get, how to get to, get to Sesame Street? Street? How to get to. All right. I'm going to start watching it now because that's that's just good. Nine. I, I you know that apparently there's American Sesame Street and Canadian Sesame Street. Well, they have to be able to spell they it. They just just they just spell it differently, and then they 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 say sorry, sorry, sorry a lot. Is <laughs> is not a boat? A boat. It's number nine, two thousand one. Well, here's Deborah. Whose room am I going to put her in? I'm going to put her with. I'm going to put her with Bill and. Um, and Alan, she she'd be a nice buffer for them. <laughs> is is nine two thousand one? I think so. Could it have been sixty eight? Yes, it was either sixty eight or sixty nine. And the only other thing I could think of is Planet of the Apes, which was sixty eight. But I don't think that. Wow, been what sixty eight? No, you're going to be kidding me. Planet of the Apes no. was sixty eight. Yeah. That's Why not. Don't I don't remember it like it happened, like it came made. out when I was in a you know able to go to the theater i watched a rerun yeah they were they released stuff in the theaters yeah i had no idea i thought it was real like like happening then right. okay so this is 2001 a space odyssey yes then i have no idea more than the woodstock name to know anything about woodstock does anybody well i know that woodstock is a oh here comes karen new york okay i will put her in the other room Gail, were everybody, was there a round of cheers when I put Deborah in a room? You're muted. I said, I'm going to put her in that I room. I wasn't in the right room to see that. In fact, I came back here to make sure you'd seen that it was happening. Yeah, no, I saw you in the room. I said, I'm going to put her in room five. And I saw you there. So you might have left right as I put I her in the room. Left, yeah. I thought they're probably doing a round of cheers that Deborah's there. Yeah, I'm sure they were. They I only have two people, I think. We have three on each team. So how close are you the to do it? We're done. Finish? You're done? No, we have two. We have no, two we've the... got two left to go. What? We have one, one to go. No, uh, we're on we, 10 and we, we didn't get one for four. Go back we, to number two. We didn't get one for four. I told we're you four. what four was. Why do you guys not believe me? You didn't seem to be sure. All you, you said, said was there was a bird there. And then you said, and what is a bird? Real have I have. would accept that as an answer. But it was a bird that landed and it might have been a dove. But it was a bird that landed. It didn't poop on it. It was a bird that landed on something. By the look on Gail's face, I'm thinking you're wrong. <laughs> well, what else could it freaking be? This, this is why I hide my video when I visit the rooms. He like doesn't go. He didn't go to sleep. So it wasn't a dream. He didn't start snoring. He. I, I tell you, I think it's just because he said it three times in a row. Well, why would that be memorable? because i have a dream and they stop i have a dream and i have a dream that was my recollection and so that like hit the point hit the point hit the point maybe if he just breezed through but it i have a dream but that, 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 that wouldn't have been remembered that's planned it's a planned part of the speech and it says no, not necessarily not necessarily something could have distracted him i don't remember what if we say that he said it three times and a bird flew by? <laughs> Fine. And then if There's either one is right, it's by. part of our sentence and we can get a half a point. There's always birds flying by. Maybe the bird had a little piece, uh, had a piece of uh, olive leaf in its mouth. Oh, yeah. But that, well, why would that be, I have a dream? That would be... That's about peace, dream. not about the, Yeah, dreaming. that would be the peace speech. Uh, okay, so right. go ahead. Does anybody know any... Go ahead and say it's because he repeated it several times. Yeah. And it wasn't planned. With a bird on the podium. <laughs> lectern. Lectern. Adrian, so, Adrian, Adrian looked it up today because I keep correcting her and saying lectern. And she says, I looked it up because you know how skeptics are. We can't let anything go. And she looked it up and she says, it's it's universal. In Canada, we can use either way. <laughs> lectern and podium. Lectern yeah. and podium are the same thing, I hear. I thought so. Okay, so I just well, saw I just saw a, a good video about English. It was somebody from the United States, and then four places in the UK: uh, Ireland, Scotland, UK, da, da, and they all compared what they say for each word, like elevator, lift, whatever. And it was like no Canada. They should have had a Canada thing there. Ah, oh, they don't believe the Canadians. Okay, so Woodstock. Does anybody know anything about oh, Woodstock? Oh, what was it? Where is it actually? Either the happening? name of the festival or the exact place. It was Farmer's it Field was, in Woodstock. It was New his York. field. It was Farmer. Yeah, what was the name of the what was the name of it? Mark, 
The it hippie hippie mud puddle festival. Somebody is somebody's farm. It was so. so yeah, it was Mark, some guy's Mark, farm. Mark, Mark might know this. He would know it. He wasn't there. But well, Mark, get your ass in here. Help us out. Yeah, I'm going to close the rooms now. Mark? Oh. What was the name of the farm in Woodstock? And are we settled on the arch? Yeah, that's okay. yeah. Yeah. That seems reasonable. I don't know much. I I mean I know the arch, but I don't know much about it. So I also don't know officially what counts as landmarks. Like would the like would a building be a landmark, like the Empire State Building? Although that one. Okay, Mark survive. says it's Nasgar N A S G A R S Farm. N A S G A R S. I've never heard of that. I thought it was something else more common. Yeah, that does not ring a bell, but okay. Well, thanks, Mark. What we have. Thank you, Mark. Hopefully. So, Nazgar's farm in Woodstock. And a bird pooped on. Uh, no. With an olive leaf in its mouth. <laughs> it, it, this, this is just like all the other ones. I never can guess what you folks are going to know. Things that I thought were going to be too easy, nobody knows or are arguing about. And things that I thought were really going to be obscure, everybody knows that one. <laughs> and they're not? And I'm trying to think of all the Hanna-Barbera cartoons I ever watched as a child. It was Yogi Bear. Right? Yogi Bear. And the Jetsons. Eat the Jetsons. Um... Mm. So they that's the ton. Flintstones. Flintstones. And it wasn't Bunch Bunny. the Flintstones. They're a modern prehistoric family, family from the town of Bedrock. Bedrock. They're a place to page right out of history. Yeah, that's right. Gosh, very good. The right. Jetsons, they had the little spaceship and the Mate George Jetson. Yeah. His boy. His oh, wife, wife Judy. Wife Judy. Yeah. Well, when I when I do the ones with the TV series themes, I can't do the ones where they actually send the freaking name of everybody. And there are a lot like that. <laughs> but you've never put in the Coronation Street <laughs> Coronation what? Street theme song. Don't know what that is. So I don't yeah. know either. It's the longest running TV show ever. Ah. Uh, mm. No idea. I actually thought I actually thought that was Doctor Who. Nope. It started. So it just wiped you out there, cat. Okay, so we I think we could use another thirty seconds. <laughs> I have got to show you guys really, really quick what Kat what gave it? me at the conference. Okay, let's see. Nice background, Vincent. It's really, yeah. really neat, and I hope you can see this. You gotta. It just disappears. Okay, so a little bit. There for a second. Back it up. Back it up. You're too close. Back it up. Back got it. Up. You got, got it. it. Kidney. Oh, have a heart. It's a heart or lungs or something. No, no, it's, it's, it's kidneys. kidneys. Yeah, kidneys. Oh, you, you gotta, gotta be kidding be me. Kidney. kidney me. You that's gotta cute. be kidding me. Oh, I like it. That's cool. That's I do that's like that. Like. Awesome. A pun. Yeah, that's because of, that's nice, cat. That's because really of my um uh kidney. Now you have an extra kidney. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I also supplied him with some root beer because that's the kind of pusher I am. Yeah. Yeah. You're awesome. You're awesome. Hi, I Deborah. loved it. Oh, she you must had... have had a great time with uh, Richard. She you know, I diet... brought it for yes. Mr. Saunders. She had diet root beer, and I was like, I was begging for it. So. And I kept giving it to you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. it. All right, we have so... we have we have uh, answers, people. Okay, um, questions? one question is we're starting, Susan. Can we, when we get to the song, can yeah, we? Yeah, I have do to that? pause it. Thank we you. To, okay. Oh, here so comes Romero. He's going to be in five. So he's already going to be there. We know that because. Because um, he is. Because it's his category. So, okay, so when we get there, uh, we'll, we'll, we need to pause it. Okay. What number was it? Four, I think. Okay. Because I, I don't, it's I don't six. have a question. But I'm six. Number six. Okay, number whatever. Six. You guys are into numbers and stuff. I mean, we just make it up half of the time anyway. Was that, right? was that, uh, was it, what was that? What a, what a good Woodward. guess. Not good, Bill. Uh, that first picture, was that the first tire change in space? What was that first picture? <laughs> oh, what? That was my Canadian tire. 
Wait, go back. Oh, my picture is on my background. Uh, Where is the title? Okay, so no, <laughs> she did not. She was not actually the first one, but uh, is giving credit all over the place. Right. <laughs> Long time ago, in a uh, another <laughs> trivia competition, my team came up with the thought that the first star should have been a double star with Joanne Woodward and Paul Newman. Why? Well, so they, that, that's they what apparently that's had a, this. they 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 did some sort of a random sort of fifteen hundred people to pick a group of about six that they used as prototypes before. And while they were still trying to get permission to do it. And she got a picture taken with her star during that time. And that's why she keeps getting credit for that. Now, look at her. Look at that woman right there. She's mm -hmm. probably 25. But she looks like she's, I don't know, late 40s or something. The way the hair and everything looks. And she looks so mature. Well, they this was 1960, that. after all. She looks great. <laughs> but I bet you she's 20, 22. Ready for number two? Yes, ma'am. I you yeah. Got it. You got it. Got it. Sorry, it. Man. People are the twenties. Oh, we got oh. It. We'll have a yabba Twin dabba stone. do time. Yeah. Oh, number three. Darn it. I know the song. I can sing it. The IBM hey. hat scores twice. Good job, Janine. She even spelled Thank it you. right. Yep. The big, the big thing was the you could change the font. That's what I learned to type on. The ball. Well, it could, would you accept just the electric typewriter? Oh. No, I said, said the name said it needed to be more specific than just the typewriter. It's it was a hell of a lot faster typewriter. than the Daisy Wheel typewriter. Bill, well, we, everyone knows we'll that write? the IBM typewriter was the electric typewriter. Yeah. No, it was the electric typewriter. That's the one. Bill, did we get that? No, no, not exactly. Yeah, so I thought. Okay. Okay, number four. Number four is a story that I don't think anybody knew. At least I didn't hear anyone who knew it. And I think you all need to know it because it's a great story. Forrest Gump came up right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was there was a big conversation beforehand about what it would be. And a big fan of his was Mahalia Jackson. And she told him that he should write about the dream and he didn't like that idea. And he had a totally different speech written. He got up on the stage and he was real, I mean, with thousands of people, right? And he started giving his speech and it was not going, going well. And she from the side said, tell him about the dream, Martin, tell him about the dream. He heard that, thought about it, took his speech, put it aside and improvised the rest of the way. Crap. So, wow. so we didn't mention Mahalia Jackson, but we we answered he was responding to a call from the crowd. No. Let's let Gail make the decision. I'm okay if Gail says no, but let's let Gail say no, that. Gail. Because I'm in no. favor of it. I'm in I, favor. I, I, I'm, I'm tempted to say yes because he was responding, but however, it he wasn't didn't. from the crowd. It was he like was a typewriter. Her. It was like an electric typewriter. <laughs> He's responding to the worm. No. No. And the big thing was that he was speaking off the cuff. He, he totally made it up after wow, that. Wow, that is remarkable. It is remarkable. That's why I said it's such a great story. I thought it had a bird involved. Was there a bird? <laughs> birds aren't real. <laughs> they had a bird. <laughs> back in the 60s, birds were what real, Carolyn. That was back in the old days. <laughs> Before Back when there were birds. Pre, -tw pre Twitter. <laughs> we knew he was speaking off the cuff, but we didn't have down the reason he changed his. Speaking off the cuff, I think would be probably okay. Yeah, but we I didn't mean, write that down. We discussed that, he... that and then tried to figure out why. Well, then forget right. it. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank he you. He was That's really a... talented. That's... That is a fantastic tidbit. Yeah, no, I like this line this round. Tell the story sometime. Okay, number five. November 22nd, 1963. You did it, Rob. Uh, I remember, it, I remember it well. I was wow. in English, I was in an eighth grade English class. Yeah. Wow. There was also a TV show called November 22nd. 
No, it, it was a it was a, well. A Stephen King wrote a novel, King. and, and yeah. they made a major. Well, there's a TV movie, show too. with a what's his name? Yeah. So, go yeah. The guy from oh, Karen that. says forty years she, she was born. Hey, you um, guys, you guys Leonard, old. where were you? In school. What twenty-one years before I was born? Oh, I wasn't born great. either. But... I just, I just, <laughs> was I? I just flunked the math exam. I was. Well, I am the oldest person here. Right? Forgot about it. I was a high school I, senior by then. What? I, I, was, at, I was at. I was at. Uh, I was at sixth grade science camp. Oh, oh you're older than me. I In think November? I was fourth or fifth grade, and we got yeah. sent home. Yeah, we got school. sent home. Yeah. Well, well we were going to be on our way home. home. It we was the last day. Yeah, I was saying he went through the entire school day, and then school let out. They told us. Wow. So they were they, they weren't going to tell us, but we were we were on the bus coming back. Everybody was all upset at breakfast, and some people knew, of course. And we were on the bus coming back, and the bus driver was playing it on his radio. Oh, yeah. well, um, I, I was I remember being in class, and someone came in to tell the teacher what had happened, and mm -hmm. the teacher just broke down crying, and wow. so many so many people in school were so overwhelmed they just had to they couldn't continue and send everybody home wow yeah. does anybody remember, remember what day of the yeah, week i remember it was a friday it was a friday day or a thursday no it was a friday, friday. It, was friday. it was definitely friday because that, okay, that was so, our science camp was monday through friday so i found, yeah, I found out i found out on monday on the school bus going to school they kept really? it. My really? parents kept it. I was six years old. My parents didn't tell me. I kept it from me until, and then I heard people talking about it on the way to school on the first day, which I guess was Monday if this happened Friday. Wow. Yeah. yeah. How many people school? saw Jack Ruby being shot? Yeah, I remember watching that we live on TV. Watched it on TV. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Okay. You know, I think I saw it on the news. Wow! Look at this. Look at the people in the like in the crowd behind. And how they're looking and smiling, and they just feel <laughs> probably so happy, and and they don't have a clue that in the next couple seconds they're about to. Yeah, they don't know. Yeah. Remember, we went head. we went to the assassination site, and the one thing that we thought was interesting was how close the grassy knoll was to where he was. That there wasn't if you somebody had shot him from the grassy knoll, you would have seen it. Yeah, yeah. Just everything was just so close together. I remember going to Dallas in the um, mid seventies and driving through Dealey Plaza on the way to the convention center where we had a show. It was really weird because I'd never been to Dallas before, but I knew what was going to be around the corner. Oh, so that yeah. place was familiar, and I just didn't know why. And then it went, oh, oh. yeah, right, Dealey Plaza. <laughs> Like, I've seen pictures of it so often. That see the little boy in the black with the yellow uh, on him. Yep. Can you imagine? Like right now, somebody could have been asking him, and he's like, "They're like, where were you?" And he's like, "Standing right there, right." In front little of boy. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? That's your like fifteen minute for the rest of your life. That will be your. That will be what you. Hi, my name is Joseph Martin, and I was standing. Yeah, I don't know how close to the assassination, the assassination this was. This yeah. picture, it's it's going to be near right. though. Yeah, mm -hmm. they will have so heard the shot. You guys noticed that there was uh, it was like the Flintstones car. It was so old that they were actually using their feet in order to. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, was that why he got shot? We're going so slow because it was a car? <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Oh, you guys are making go. it sound like it was like a thousand uh... years ago. Question six. I want it's it. quite an earworm. We're gonna hum it the rest of the way for the rest. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay, <laughs> number seven. <laughs> yes. Gateway art. Oh, oh you got it. Yes. Well, ben. Oh, yes. Way to go. Well, I, I hope Ben knows that. I would have out of it if I just thought of anything oh, else. That makes sense. <clears throat> I was I was personally surprised when I found out how how recent that had been. So I, 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 a lot of you got that one, I think. Oh, I, I might have thought that. of the Space Needle. They've got a yeah. really awesome museum underneath. So, yeah. so okay. did you, Gail, did you say you had problems with uh, confirming the Beatles' first song? Because I did the first thing yeah. I Googled, edsullivan.com, and it says it's a different song. 
No. Well, yeah, everything, I, everything I saw says it was this one, and they that is a recording from that report from that day. Uh, they have the transcript. The live Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles bring them, bring them on. Unless they took the stage with the ear splitting, all my loving. They they had two spots. They, they, have, they, he, they were they on more than Ed one. Sullivan several yeah. times. So mm -hmm. this was probably a later time. This was the first time they were here. Yeah, yeah well, the first time it was all my loving, but not the live recording. We got it right. So yeah. no, so so Gal, this is saying February 9th, nineteen sixty four. Oh. Yeah, but but Rob, oh. they they had two two songs. They sang twice. They sang one right. time, and they had a break, and had some other acts on, and they sing again. I get you, but the way this is written, it says this was the other song is the first. Well, song. Had, it could be wrong too. And we had it right. So everything says everything, says everything says. I want to hold your hand. That I found. I found nobody saying yeah. anything else. I just. Oh, I don't know how you found that one, but if uh, you think you I can just verify, I just found it too. I just found yeah. it too. I googled the uh, Beatles. But do they Sullivan. mention that they sing twice on the Ed Sullivan show, or they only sing that yes. one song? They 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 say that that they were on there more than once. No, but the same at the same one. night. Yeah, at the first yeah, on one, the same night. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Well, if you've all found the references, I'll go along with you. For the for both, one or the other. One of the oh yeah, but definitely it was that one is the. The one that is considered official on the many places I looked, because you people keep doing this. On um, edsullivan.com, it says all my loving. So, yeah, that's, yeah. so let's say both, because they probably played yeah. two songs. Yeah, yeah. It, that's probably what happened. Okay, number eight Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. I think hey. got that one. Hey, cat. Rex Murphy just died. Who? Who? Nobody would know him, but I would in Catwood. Number nine, the personally? The commentator. Hey, that's all we got it. Oh, Rex, got it. Rex right? Murphy. Baby. And we and were just going to do a category on Rex Murphy. Oh, no. No. <laughs> sure you were. Finally, number 10 might be the hardest one. It was called Three Days of Peace and Music. Uh, if you got that it was a dairy farm in New York, in Bethel, New York, or something close to that, fine. Max Yasker's farm. Mark got Going that with one. Yeah, Max Yasker's farm. 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 That was perfect. Um, the everyone name remembers was that from the lyrics Three days of song. Peace and Music. Yeah, the, the official name was Woodstock <laughs> Music and Art Fair. Look underneath that. Three days of peace and music. Look under Look over here. Woodstock. Three Woodstock. Days music, of peace and music. music and art fair. Three days of peace and music. That's what it's called. Three days no, of peace and music. Anything called about an art fair. Music and art fair. No, Woodstock, that's just what fair. it is. Yeah, no, it says the, that right on the sign. Are, that's just a poster. That's just a poster. That's a description. Okay. It says three that days was, of peace and music. The first was a title. It is trademarked. <laughs> yeah. No, Woodstock's trademarked. Yeah. But not Music and Art Fair. No, Wikipedia calls it Woodstock Music and Art Festival, commonly referred to as Woodstock. But like, it's also called Three Days of Peace was music. Three Days of Peace and Music. It doesn't matter. We got it right. Yeah, yeah, we got it right. Yeah, we got it in <laughs> New York. Why do you guys argue when you when it's? I know. Come it's on, Wikipedia, gorilla people. Let it go. <laughs> All right, Good. we have scores, and I want you to keep in mind. Just keeping in mind that we have Kevin is here. Kevin doesn't have a team yet, yeah. so it he may go on to the team with the lowest score or the team that has the um, highest score. Or he he gets to pick the the thing. The, the but best type, I just the best added Faith Romero to Team Five, so the team's pretty full. All right, so Team Three, JFK, RFK's worm starved to death. Seven. Yep, seven is what I have. Uh, RFK I Jr. was name. serious with his paras parasitic worm. He gave it a piece of his mind. 
Um, what did we get? Seven? Lee? I think we got six. Two, three, six? four, five, six. Yeah. Oh, we got six? Yep. Okay. If one of us has a worm in our brain, does that count as a team member? <laughs> I think we ended up at nine. Yeah. I've had earworms, but never brain worms. So don't worry. Be happy. Bill, are hey. we taking? Are we getting a yes for the ten, for the last one? We should. Good, we'll take it. <laughs> Good. Like I said, the difference is we have eight. Oh, you have eight. Yeah. Okay, so it's not. It's about the checks, not the sex. Eight. Eight. And that was Gail's room. Oh, hey, Rob, it didn't give me the score for the average score. What did you do wrong? Um. <laughs> you just have to. Put it in an equation, it'll magically appear. <laughs> I don't I'll know. Fi I'll, I'll fix it during the break. Okay, I fixed it in, um, in my brain. Okay, the worm did it. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, just lock uh, uh, lock Susan out of her own spreadsheet yeah, so should. she can't screw up the formulas. I should, I should. It should just be. I I went back and copied the old one. I guess I didn't copy far enough down or something. Okay. Anyway, thank you, Gail. That was great. That was fun. Back to the 60s. All right, Carl or Kyle or whoever you are today. <laughs> Has he turned around? He's turned around. It's getting serious over here. Uh-oh. He's assumed the pose, which is this one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Advertising characters, spokespersons, personalities, and mascots, volume two. Name the commercial product or company associated with the following. Number one, Spuds McKenzie. Number two, Captain Obvious. Do we have to say duh <laughs> when we get that one? Uh, Sure. Number three, the most interesting man in the world. Number four, little Mikey. Number five, mayhem, played by Dean Winters. Number six, Frank and Ed. Number seven, Nipper, the curious dog. Number eight, Slow, played by Stephanie Courtney. Jan, played by Laurel Copper. And finally, Lily Adams, the store manager, played by Milana Von Trump. All right. Break out room. Break out room. Go forth and break out. their names except for except for the progressive insurance slow that was number eight Sorry. where you at well i i was just saying that i remember some of the products i don't remember the names if, except for number eight because that was progressive insurance yeah that's right so hold on i'm just copying them right now well life cereal is little mikey uh, okay, I remember the cereal, but I didn't remember which one. And then, of course, the most interesting man in the world is some Dos Equis. Beer. Dos Equis. Dos Equis. It's Dos Equis, right? Yeah, that sounds right. Captain Spuds McKenzie, you guys know, is the it's that dog. Um, it's like the French Terrier with a big patch on the eye. Spuds McKenzie was, um, was that a beer? Yeah. What it beer was, is it? 
What beer is it? Milwaukee? No. Yes, Bud's is a nickname for beer, isn't it? Yeah, I think because it's a hops, right? Captain Obvious doesn't sound familiar. That's, I, Captain, I, that's Captain Mor Isn't that Captain Morgan rum? No, no, Captain Obvious. Those are funny commercials. But uh, because Captain oh, Obvious, he says the most obvious thing. Oh, Everybody right, knows. right, right. It's I remember like one of the situations they were in a hotel. It was in a hotel with a family. Yes. I don't remember if it's a, a hotel, a, a commercial about a different hotel chain. Or what else it could have been about? I think it's. I think it's. Um, it's. It's a hotel booking site. Like uh, hotels. dot com. Ho Mark. Hotels dot com. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was just going to ask if you remember who Spuds McKenzie was the representative for. I think that was Bud Light. Bud Light. It was a beer. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, Bud, Bud Light sounds. Do you right. remember Captain Obvious? No. How about? What? No, okay. we're going to go with hotel.com. this mean? Where do I enable that? Sorry, guys. Just a quick Is little. Hi, Mark. Hi. But there's only two people playing? Oh, we actually I'm here. Three people. people always forget I'm here. You're not there, Susan. I'm not. I know. I'm looking at something. Okay, so settings. Bluetooth. Sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry. Okay. Why is it so, not? It's, 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 do you remember who Frank and Ed are? Okay. Uh, the old man, Frank and Ed. Were they the guys on uh, Frank and Ed spokespeople? Were they the ones that are on um, the Muppets? The ones in the balcony? Oh, look, is that Cindy? Is that your house in the background? Yeah. You've really settled in, haven't you? Isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah. And I, I found out, I, I thought I had injured myself, injured my ankle. I found out the other day, no, I'm getting arthritis in my feet. Oh. oh. Uh, sorry to hear that. I, I know. And that just kind of slowed me down a lot. Yeah. Nipper, the curious dog. Nipper? The only nipper that I know is the RCA Victor um, dog. Oh. You know, look. Oh, but, but that was, right wasn't that a dog that was, um, mm -hmm. you know, that might be, I'm trying, just wait. Um, that was, was this thing Nip? That's an able Bluetooth. Open settings, turn on Bluetooth. Oh, turn it off and turn it on. Maybe. I just, I did that. And so let's turn off again. Let's see what happens. Okay. Give it a second. Okay, Flo, we know that one. Jan. No idea. Lily Andrews. Is that the one that's in Office Depot or? Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Um, I think they, that there's been a couple of different stores they advertise. Maybe a Best Buy, Office Depot. What are some of the big Try stores? restarting the phone now. It's just not, it's not, it's not um, sinking. sinking. So try restarting it, waiting a couple minutes, then restart it. And that might do it. Oh, okay. So what so do we, are we done? No, we're still trying to figure out like what. Nine story. and nine and 10. Okay. Nine Jan. I don't remember any character named Jan. Jan. Yeah. I don't know what Jan. Do you think Louis Adams was the, the store manager was for Office Depot? Office Depot. Your Best Buy? Just Office Depot, Best Buy, or, or some of the other big stores. Um, Jan. But did we get buy? No, Mayhem? That was an insurance company. You, yeah, Mayhem was an insurance company. A car insurance company? Oh, that's company? right. That guy who looked like he looked like yeah. a disaster. Yeah. yeah. yeah was, he was, that was good. You know, I hardly ever watch commercials. So I, I that's, barely, that's all state, right? Was Jan, Jan, Mayhem maybe, is all state. Maybe all state. It could be. It's like, just remember, it's a, and then, um, 
and we in six and seven. Okay, so six and seven. Well, seven uh, make it say, "Well, Nipper the curious, Nipper the curious, curious dog." I think the dog that was on the RCA was called. Well, that's Nipper, but I don't know if it's the same Nipper. You think his name is Nipper? I'm pretty sure. Okay, we'll put that down because that seems sort of right. But why do they call him the curious dog? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Jan, it doesn't, why does it, it that doesn't sound fit familiar? That. Because of the Brady Bunch. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. big, I wasn't because a big fan of the Brady Bunch. Jan. Jan. Bunch. Um, advertising character, spokesperson, a personality, or a mascot. Jan did. Hi, I'm Jan. Jan? Do you quit squeezing the Charmin? No, that wouldn't be her. <laughs> <laughs> um what does it seem like it might be it's so nondescript i mean and i have no idea how laurel topic is cup 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 where block. what do we say frank and ed was who they oh. let her make i have no idea I, I have a I had a guess that that number seven is the is RCA, but um six. But I have no idea about six. Two men. Frank and Ed. Not ringing a bell. How about Ed and Frank? Um, that doesn't help a lot. Frank and Ed. Mm -mm. We're back. I, I hope I hope this is not a high scoring round because we're not going to get a high score. Did we decide his Buzz McKenzie? What what beer? Bud Light. Bud Light. I mean Frank and Egg sounds Frank and Ed sound like they're or probably two old men who sat out in the front yard and was the survey things and commented on some kind of um product. That's all that comes to mind about that one. I have no idea what Jan advertised. And I certainly have no idea who Laurel Kopak is. Which one is that? What number? Nine. Laurel played by Laurel Kopak. Oh. The actress who played her. Yeah. Or maybe continues to play her. Yeah. I just had a thought. Frank yes. and Ed, you know, see, they don't have like their names written beside them. They're probably cartoons. You think it were cartoons? Because like, see how he's got most of the others have like a played by. So they're probably well, kept an obvious was not a cartoon. So hmm. he was like, he was I, I don't know. Frank and Ed is a cartoon, maybe? Let me think. You got 90 seconds. I don't think it's gonna be better. Um well, congratulations, Carl. You have screwed your team. <laughs> yeah. I How's everybody else do, Carl? Oh, look at the um, cutie back. I, I I'm not sure how I, I know some teams did very well. I'm sorry to hear I'm that. Not, I'm not sure you you may be dead last in this round. 
Well, thanks a lot, Carl. What is the number well, one Susan, rule? You should give do us we get do, do we get extra points for um uh you know spelling Dos Equis right or something? Uh, no, because other teams have spelled it right as well. Oh, fine, great. You know, I'm going to be. How about if we spell it wrong? What if he spelled it wrong? Do we get extra points? You can tell that people do Most not creatively. cheat because yeah. they don't make the category something they know I would know. So you know that they don't want to do that. <laughs> they don't care, obviously. You're not a, a big um, character in commercials, uh, paying attention person. No, I, I pay for the premium so that I do not have to have any commercials on YouTube. I don't watch TV. Mm -mm, I can't stand commercials. There's other ways to not have commercials on YouTube. Don't watch YouTube at all. So what do you got for us? All right. Carl, who just tanked his own team. You will need to pause recording. Oh, here's the good stuff, people. You should have been here. There will be a, there is a PowerPoint. <laughs> See, Good this job, is my problem Carl. where Can the, me the media, loud for everybody? The media yeah. wastes their money doing that because I knew it was a, a cell phone commercial and I thought it was Verizon. And it's like, and the same thing happened with something else. Oh, like, yeah. How I remember the category and I don't dollars. remember the company that spent the money at all. So for the sake of the recording, number one was Bud Light. Number two was Hotels.com. Number three was Dos Equis. Four was Life Cereal. Five was Allstate Insurance. Six was Bartles and James Wine Coolers. Seven was RCA. Eight was Progressive Insurance. Nine was Toyota. And 10 was AT&T. So, Carl, for uh, the RCA, will you ex accept Victrola, which was what Vipper, that Nipper was originally the ad for? Uh, hold on. Victrola? But is, is, it Vic is it the curious... His master's voice. That was Victrola. No, it was Victor. Nipper the Curious Dog. No, it was, pri it prior was the to Japanese Victor. Victor Corporation. Yes, Victor. The the Victor Talking Machine Company would be an acceptable answer. Yeah. Yeah. But not Victrola. <laughs> not Victrola. That was that was how it was advertised as Victrola. Um. Hold on a second. I want to be. That fair. was the product. Yeah, I do say products. Uh. Yeah. Or companies. So Victrola was a product. I will take it. You're just too nice. Good. Push Is over. Budweiser Bud fine instead of Bud Light? Mm. No, there are yeah, movies. I don't think so. Go for Bud Light only. That's the horse. I would have accepted Bud Weiser Light or Bud Light, but not Bud Weiser. But not Bud Weiser, you mean? Yeah. It's got to gotta have light in the name. Yeah. All right. So let's go with our scores here. So <laughs> I just gave Kevin to RFK's worm, starved to death. No, no, no. I give Kevin to another one. So Kevin, cool. RFK Jr. was furious with this parasitic worm. He gave it a piece of his mind. Are you posting this? Are you going to put this up on the screen? Oh, oh Come my on. God. Come I on. broke a roll that I started myself. That's the dog. Living Come on, Susan. Get with the program. My God. I hope you guys all forgive <laughs> is, me. It was, is your you worm acting up today? Zero error in the universe. <laughs> it's moving around. All right. Okay. So here we go. Sorry, the everybody. Worm hit out a sensitive there. spot. I have to show the screen on the second round, otherwise people have fits. Okay. RFK Jr. was furious with his parasitic worm. He gave it a piece of his mind. I'm gonna say we got a ten. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> RFK's worm starved to death. Eight. And it's all about the checks, not the sex. Seven. Oh. And I've had earworms, but never brain worms. Finish it. So don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> I think we have to, Tanya. And Carl's team. Seven. Seven. I'm surprised we had seven. <laughs> that got way worse than that. Okay. Somebody's cheating because I think we had like four. <laughs> All right. Let's do our picture. So everybody go grab your whatever it is you need to get your picture taken so that you look the best. Oh, Caspian and Jamie are here. Where'd they come in? 
April. Yeah, walk in. There's Caspian. Hi, Caspian. Did you bring your worm? Okay, I got my prop. Okay. So <laughs> <here. laughs> Where is he? Not bad. <laughs> Oh, he's got his prop. Oh, duh, I didn't see him. Okay, ready? Okay. Wait, is Jamie coming in? There she is. There's her arm. Okay. One, two, three. Wait, wait, I didn't take it. One, two, three. Oh, I know I did. Wait, 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 wait. Here comes Amy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, my face hurts. <laughs> That's what we wedding pictures are like. <laughs> totally. Adrian's gonna get the bottom row. All to Adrian. All, all to herself. herself. Okay, uh, Adrian. Yeah. We'll all Adrian picture. all the Cheers. time. Everybody ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Better have it this time. My goodness. So we, we call dibs on Caspian and Jamie. We're in last Okay, place. got it. We, call dibs we, on, we need they, Adrian. They, they were on our team last oh, round. Yeah, yeah. No, we, we, need we, Adrian. we want Adrian too. Adrian. We need Adrian. Caspian and Jamie yeah, were but on the We team have people us. that are going to go to bed early. Yeah. And, oh my gosh, Carolyn. you guys. The rule my is last place bed. team. We're in last place. But they were already oh, on but, our team. Okay, right. so point, we don't have any team the numbers of it. So team one is getting team one is getting Caspian and Jamie. Okay, but they were on our team and helped us in the last round. Why? Yeah, we put them on team four. They were on team four in the last round. They answered one question for us. They got the 18 team. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so we get Adrian. We get Adrian. Okay. It's Kate <laughs> and Allie back together help. again. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know they got put on a team. I missed that. Well, who did it? One it of was the brain the worms. Them. <laughs> it was done by them. Ah. Uh, them. Okay. Okay. All okay. Right. Five minute break. Or as Jamie said, call Hercule Poirot. He'll tell you who did it. Oh, let's call up. Let me let me check with him. All right. Five minutes. Let me put this picture up here. I can't decide if playing trivia with Poirot would be cheating or if I would leave wanting to strangle him. Yes. <laughs> Everything would have to be neat and orderly and symmetric. I just listened to Curtin. I can't say anything about it, but I just listened to Curtin and it, it had his OCD. It's just like, Careful, oh, don't God. spoil it. Yeah, I do. I'm not going to spoil it because I had forgotten kind of a lot of it. So, so it was actually I, I, a couple of them I put off loss. Jamie, we spent like 45 minutes today in my genealogy group going over about Norman. Oh my gosh, I found a, they forced me to to say, "How do you know?" And boy, we had a lot of fun just making sure we had it. And I found some new stuff. So I was like, <laughs> "So Jamie is actually downstairs and didn't hear a thing he said." Well, how would I know that? You get your video off. Yep. You wouldn't have been able to tell anyway because it only shows a very small portion of the room. But Jamie showed up. She, she was in the picture. Physically walked over to get in the photo. Well, fine. Fine. A Adrian, why were you late? Tutoring. Oh, that's right. I remember you had told me that. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I I went way longer than I had anticipated if somebody needed two hours uh which you know usually it's half an hour an hour so and so i just finished dinner i got to eat <laughs> i had a cookie and some popcorn and a diet dr pepper so Ooh. i'm good i might have some toast and orange juice later for dinner dinner i'm not a dinner dinner person i like my dinner but uh yeah no so i had dinner and my brain is dead. I still have not fully recovered from the week. So <laughs> you need a worm. I need a worm. So are the, are some of the the names really funny? And are they all about Kennedy and his worm? Everyone but one. <laughs> Everyone but one. I'll read them off whenever we come back. That sounds them. good. 
And uh, well, you can just read them off. You'll read them off when you do the score. You don't have to do it when they come back. That's true. I could do that. Yeah. That way we save some time. So you thought my songs were terrible and funny. <laughs> yeah, they were they were very cute. <laughs> they were terrible and funny <laughs> and terrible. You know what it was? It was the music it was awful. Isn't it awful? Oh, it's just... reggae and disco that was like the worst of reggae and disco music. And we tried 60s folk. We tried 2000s. We tried 90s. We tried all kinds of different styles. And those were the best two that we came up with. So can you imagine how awful the rest were? Oh, my God. <laughs> they were like, <laughs> like AI had designed the music. Surprise, surprise. Copyright free. You know, there are AI music generators out now. That's what I did. Oh. Yeah. I used the, I used the best one I could find. I tried about four of them. And the first three were so horrific that you that you couldn't listen past a bar or two of music. They were just awful. And you the words, the the lyrics that you would put in, they all said they could sing the lyrics. They were all robotic. It's like, eh, it's just terrible. But the Suno actually sounded like people singing, sort of. Yeah, yeah, it did sound like people singing. And yeah. it was understandable. It was, under well, I think it helped that the words are there. That helps you prime you to Holy, uh, to, uh Yeah. To it is. But the other ones, the, the three or four that I tried before the Suno, they were just terrible <laughs> they were so much worse but they're it, it's gonna happen it's certainly gonna happen we're getting better mm -hmm. yeah absolutely i was just looking at um the program i use for photos and i'd seen them do this but th they put out a like an announcement that they're using mm -hmm. with ai some new feature they have is it expands so you take a picture and then yeah. if you want to expand the sides it does yeah. a like an ai of what is actually there so you can yeah. make the picture wider with clouds buildings whatever right, yeah mountains. It, fits. it works really well it well the examples they gave are really nice yeah so yeah photoshop's done that for a little while now but mm -hmm. that's photoshop and it's expensive so it's great that there these other ones are coming out with it so yeah it, it's, it's like amazing. photoshop light yeah 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 it's great hey like Adrian, 35 remember... bucks a year huh hey adrian you remember rex murphy right yes yeah he's dead <gasps> What? Yay. Yep. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I thought that was sad. Because he was a, he because, was an asshole. Because Vincent was cheering. That's why I was laughing. Yeah. <laughs> he's well, a hey. he's a controversial. Uh, he wrote a lot of opinion pieces for the newspapers, and so he was quite controversial. But he was quite respected as well. Well, but, the wrong for you. Yeah. What was that, Lee? I said, you said he was quite respected. And I said, obviously not by you. I have mixed feelings about him. I I, I think early in his career, I li either I liked it and I've changed or he's changed. Or maybe it's both. <laughs> it's could be. He was a, like a TV host or a reporter? No, writer. Well, he would be on TV too, wouldn't he, Vincent? Uh, he was. Yeah, yeah. he was. He was usually, he would comment on something that was happening in the news. Like he was somebody they would invite as a guest. Uh, so I don't no. think, I don't yeah. think he had his own show. No, he didn't. Yeah. No. But he was most known for his opinion pieces in various new national newspapers. So he was, he, he was controversial, especially in the last few years. He's, he kind of moved a little bit further right than he used to be, as my memory serves. But I maybe, maybe he got a worm. That Maybe is going to be the phrase yeah. that everybody's going to say forever now. I mean, we all got it now. It's it's just, you know, what was interesting is, um, I think I told, I think I was telling somebody about this. So I, so I apologize if I repeat it, if I've said this already, is that somebody in Australia told me Ross Coltart is the journalist, award-winning journalist in Australia, who's known for his, um, uh, support of ufos mm -hmm. and he's kind of gone over the edge he's like gone like a jf uh, rfk jr kind of that personality now and uh, the ufo community thinks he's the bee's knees and they just love him but i just heard from a, a woman i'm i know from melbourne australia she was telling me that all the um all the people who supported him on the on the staff at the journal uh, at the news thing they're all gone they're fired or or whatever and so now he's kind of 
all his support is gone. <laughs> so who knows what's going to end up happening to his reputation, which was already bad, but he's been supported by um, the network because of his past journalistic skills, I guess. So, so who, who is this? Sorry. Uh, Coltart, Ross Coltart, the Australian, oh. um, I guess he'd be like a, like a, not a rock, like a Anderson Cooper of Australia, oh, but he's okay. gone, nut, but he's like really into <clears throat> pros and stuff. And people supported him because he had a lot of award winning stuff and he was a respected journalist, but now he's, he's not very respected. gone nuts. Yeah. He's kind of not, he's, he's mm. not done well, but, but there's so much support for him because of his past, but now everybody's was fired. I, I don't know if it's scandal. Does he have a brain a brain worm? No, I'm not <laughs> quite sure. That would be a convenient excuse. Yeah, probably. So, um, I've got uh, on something that I've got going. I was re I received a book. It's a it's a advanced reader copy. And this is by Stephen Harrison. He writes for the Washington Post. And apparently, and I had forgotten this. Sorry, Harrison, like the Washington Post? Washington Post, as I said. <laughs> and so <laughs> he writes for the Washington Post and he covers Wikipedia topics. And he wrote um, an article for Slate Magazine. And he interviewed me and it was about Bigfoot and Wikipedia and Bigfoot and stuff. So I, that was like 2000. Maybe it's 20. I don't even know. It's been a few years. Who knows? He interviewed me because these people, they interview you and then it could be months before you hear back from them. Anyway, he wrote this book called The Editors. And I was thinking, you didn't interview me. I mean, I run the biggest, most powerful, most amazing group mm -hmm. of editors ever. And you wouldn't. You really want to say that in public, Susan? Yeah, I could say that. But it's a That's secret cabal. Important. It's a cabal. And so I thought he didn't interview me us about it Just and i thought, ball. and i've talked to a bunch of people who've written about wikipedia so i couldn't remember who was telling me these things and i thought oh man so he wrote to me and he said susan would you like an advanced copy of my book so you can look at it and review it it's called the editors and i was like yeah i want to see it thinking maybe we're mentioned in it somewhere so he sent me an advanced copy and i sat down and read it about 45 minutes before we started this thing and it is not what i thought and it's already excellent. And it's, um, it's a fictional novel about Wikipedia, but it's not Wikipedia. It's Infomedia or something like that. But it's it talks about the rules and it talks about stuff. And he's already got a, a character in there named Alex that has a... Um, so, th so the reporter goes to a Wikipedia... It's a Wikipedia conference in Manhattan. And she runs into this guy who's like... A, People who in our group would know who Leon is. She runs into a character like Leon. And then she, he, the the writer, Leon runs a group of editors that's called the, it's not the secret cabal, but it's called, and it's not, it's a team that goes in and fixes misinformation. And it ah. sounds like, a, it sounds like kind of like a, sounds like us, but it's, it's not the, um, it's not science related and it's called misinformation patrol. Ah. And so she's going to interview him and she's talking to him and then there's some conspiracy. And I think that, so I'm like, this isn't what I thought. It's a novel, but it's very, very close to uh, the rules of Wikipedia. He just renames them. And then they have a character who's supposed to be um, Jimmy Wales, but it's somebody else with a different name. And, and I think it, such a project would be great. <laughs> someone should do people. that yeah i wonder yeah. if somebody should do that so anyway so <laughs> this book i'm only on page 46 and i wrote to him i wrote to Stephen right before we started i said oh my gosh this is this is really interesting i had no idea it would be about this and then i also said and i mentioned the ufo drama and stuff so maybe he'll look at it maybe i'll write something for the washington post about yeah. it oh, he's he, he's a columnist for the washington post Stephen harrison you might want to check him out. I have, I, you know, I get his, his, uh, uh, feed. So when he puts out something and he, he writes, 
um, mainly about Wikipedia, but it's it's all kinds of strange stuff. So it's very interesting. Anyway. Um, What's his name again? Very cool. Stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N. Mm -hmm. And the last name is Harrison, like as in uh, the Beatles. George. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> I also put out a video today. I haven't done a video for my Psychics Explained in a while. I put one out this morning because I got this really sad um, letter that was forwarded to me from CFI about psychics that are preying on people in um, some part of Canada, Saskatchewan. And uh, if somebody was like, I cannot believe this is going on. This is the worst I cannot Could believe you say that province again for yes. me? Because that was too I funny. Just, I was just <laughs> loving the way you pronounced it. <laughs> That's it's better than Washington. Washington. Yeah. <laughs> this, okay, wait. Do it again. Okay. Sketch one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Saskatchewan. 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 It sounds like you're saying the same thing I am. No. Yeah, and you say the same thing about Washington. And yeah. Washington, Washington, Washington and Saskatchewan. And Washington. Yeah, those are, are different. The same There's no R. No, those in are the Washington. same things. You don't hear you don't hear an extra R in Washington. Well, if you slow it down like that. Washington. <laughs> and it's not so Saskatchewan. It's just it's a Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. That's what I just uh, said. The capital of uh, which is Regnina. Regnina. <laughs> well, don't complicate oh, things. No, 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 no. I know that one. I know that one. There was a psychic there, and his uh, and 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 it's in. Wait, wait, wait. R e g i n a. Right. Yeah. It's Regina. up here over by Toronto. It's Regina. Oh, it's, it rhymes with. It's nowhere near Toronto. Nowhere near nowhere Toronto. Right it, it's a far. It's a far <laughs> western suburb of Toronto. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how big, how <laughs> Very very western. It's it's actually pretty close to Calgary. It's I've right. Of, it. I thought it was right above the border. It well, is. So is it's Canada a few times over away from <laughs> Toronto. <laughs> okay, it's it's called. Wait, wait. Regina. Vagina. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. Yes. No. Rhymes, with, rhymes yeah. with vagina. Yeah. Vagina? It's spelled or the same as Regina. That's what is was saying. Oh, what a stupid name. My God. Don't worry, Susan. We'll get them all out here and, and challenge them with uh, the Spanish and, and Native American names Seriously, out here. Seriously, man. Seriously. Yeah. Okay. Like, anybody have, oh. like Mississauga. Mississippi. Yeah, well, you have your own, you know. Whatever. Okay, so Romero, you have something coming up. Going to be amazing. We just added a speaker. Tell us. Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, the skeptics in the, in the Triangle region of North Carolina are having a skeptic camp May 25th. And All right. We have se several speakers, uh, Kenny Biddle, Erica Engel, oh, is that right? Oh, we uh, can't face the sketch ones. So don't ask me. <laughs> well, that's quite a guess. Much better. Okay. Uh, Susan Gerbic. Who's that? Uh, who? Susan, who? <laughs> Eric Harris and Rob Palmer are going to be there. Nice. Uh, Rob Palmer. Wow. Cool. And you guys then, are going to have so much fun. Yeah, so anybody that, that wants to come, you know, welcome to, to join us. So we added somebody today. Yeah, do you want to tell us who it is, Susan? His name is Cameron, what? Coleman, Coleman. Coleman, Coleman, what? 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 From South Carolina. What? Right? what? He's in South Carolina. So so this guy, oh my gosh, Rob met him at PsyCon last year and said nothing to anybody. Yeah, so Susan, I don't remember. I don't. I met a lot of people at Tycon, and we just said hello and goodbye. I do not remember that. He says I met Rob Palmer at uh, Tycon uh, 2022, and and I guess he made an impression on him. He start, he opened up a YouTube channel called Think. So think this through, but think it through. Right, I I, I met him this I guess oh. the second time, but the first time I recall was he contacted me and he wanted me to come on the show to do an interview. It it has not happened. 
But then after I saw his repeatedly great episodes, I decided I'm going to interview him. So he's, you know, we're arranging to do that. And then it worked out that he is a, a stone's throw, apparently, from Raleigh. So uh, he's driving up for the conference. Rob yeah. said to him, she, he says, I can't interview you because uh, this week because I'm or whatever week because I'm going to be yeah. going to North Carolina to do a conference. He said, what are you doing like, in North what? Carolina? What conference? What are you talking what about? What conference is this? I want to go. And how did he get to me? Because immediately I get a message. Everyone knows you, Susan. No, but yeah. did Rob, did you send him to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you had already <laughs> talked to him sort of on the chat where uh, where I posted his video taking down the last week tonight segment, right? And you had talked to each other. You said, who's this guy? He's amazing. And then he said something, thank you, or something like that. Yeah, we've been chatting because yeah. I said, how come I don't know you? Yeah, right. <laughs> and so he did a he did a video. Did you guys watch it, Romero? You probably haven't had time, huh? Uh, I, I watched like half of it. Yeah. I mean, I haven't heard about the interview with, uh, or not the interview, but the segment that, um, what's his name? Uh, the John comedian. Oliver. John, John Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. yeah. And I had heard that it was not very good. No. It was good to take him uh, UFOs. So mm -hmm. it was good to see uh, that he did that video. Yeah. It was, I, I started watching it. I'm like, who is this man who is doing this video? It's well done. He looks, you know, he's he's uh, mimicking John Oliver and without the British accent. And I thought, oh, this guy is and he has a whole channel of all this kind of stuff. He does pseudoscience uh, videos. They're well done. I mean, for within the budget of, you know, one of a human like us, not a network or something. So he's going to come and speak. He was so excited, Romero. Yeah, because he did like the Twin Flames uh, a video. Uh, he's doing a lot of like skeptical videos. So. Yeah. So what's his topic going to be? Conspiracy oh, theory, right? What's that? Uh, the, you're saying the topic of his talk? Yeah. I haven't looked at it. Uh, I think only uh, Jeff saw the submission, but I haven't looked oh, okay. at it. He said what's something this? on conspiracy theories. What's his name again? Coleman him... Watts. Coleman Watts. Coleman Watts. It's yeah, funny. but the video chat, can somebody put the link to the to these yeah, YouTube channels, because you guys should check them out. And this YouTube video for, thank you, Romero, the YouTube video for uh, the last week tonight of uh, the John Oliver on UFOs is not to be missed. Wonderful. He, he did a great one on, on, he did a great he one on, ch on chakra, chakras. Uh, so I, yeah. I was reading the comments on your post and I saw him and I saw that, that name and I go, that seems familiar. And I looked I have like this pending Facebook friend request from him that was sitting around forever <laughs> that I never accepted because I didn't know who he was. Oh, he so probably I took his picture or something. Finally. Oh, interesting. I've never heard of him before. And he looks like he's just the right kind of person for our community. So yeah. it's like, let's get this guy here. Um, so thank you, Romero. Yeah, I'm, we're going to see trivia. you guys. Yeah, let's find well, out. Well, he's in South Carolina. Here. So it's only you people in the East Coast that are used to coming over here. I don't think I could talk any other East Coast people into coming in Blake Drivia. You never know what he never does on Friday that. mornings. He well, might have be, a weird schedule. We're going to be sharing a house with him. There's six of us. And one of them is Rob. And one of them's me. And one of them's oh Jane. God. So this should be interesting. We're going to oh, have six Jane's bedrooms. Going. That's exciting. Yeah, we have six bedrooms. Oh. And so he's going to take one of our bedrooms. It's going to be fun. To be. So what's oh, happening Kenny. in Mexico? We haven't done anything yet. Yeah, I was waiting for you to get your brain free. Oh and... yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, give kinda... it a moment. Give it a moment. It's okay. <laughs> so, um, anything else going? Oh, and so I'll be in New Mexico. Which, if anybody wants to fly over to New Mexico, we got Brian Dunning, Celestia Ward, Ben mm. Radford, Dave Thomas, myself, Adrian Hill. And um, yeah. some some other local people that I'm I'm looking forward to meeting. And Sterling will be there. He's going to fly out. Oh, nice. <clears throat> so, and then so I'm going to speaking in St. Louis. Rob, so right? I Sterling mean, uh, is Carl. The alt, Sterling is the alter ego of Caspian when he goes to conferences. That's right. Of course, we can't have them both in the same place at the right. same time because that would. I'm be not sure which one's Jekyll and which one's Hyde. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, hard Richard. to say. Long time no see. So already, are we ready to start? Look, there's Richard Saunders. Hey, Richard Saunders, you have this podcast I heard. Anything new on it? No. <laughs> uh, coming up in the Skeptic Zone, we hear from Adrian Hill with various reports about the We Can Reason conference in Canada, uh, including, of course, Kat McLeod, who was, uh, happened to be there at the time. Also with the newsletter, 
uh, read once again by uh, Adrian Hill. And this week's Trove looks at various psychic predictions from the past. All that and more on skepticzone.tv. Oh, that'll be fun. And Kat is one of your new uh, reporters. We were talking yep. about that and earlier today. Cat and friend. Congratulations. Friend. Rob, you had something about, I think you have a new thing coming out with Brian Kirby. So it just was published yesterday. Yes. One of our trivia players. He plays um, trivia. I finally sat down with him and, and the interview was published yesterday. So we learn all about his show, 502 Conversations, which is a broadcast show as well as a YouTube channel. And uh, find out a little bit about his background, how he's a skeptic, etc. 502 Conversations, a conversation with Brian Kirby on Skeptical Inquirer. Very exciting. This trivia team has really just, oh my gosh, the thing, the connections you guys made. Janine has got a conference coming up, I understand. I don't think she's gotten close to preparing for it, but, you know, save the dates, Eugene, in August. I feel so bad about bringing people to Oregon in August. <laughs> we're going we're gonna gonna to come into Eugene this. in August for years. It's I fine. know. And it does not do credit to Oregon. If well, you came oh, now, it's beautiful. It's beautiful it's in August. It's green too. and it's beautiful. And hopefully there won't be forest fires and all brown in August. Beautiful but, even with the forest fires, you guys. And, and you Jean, haven't been through it. You have not been through it. I was it. there when there was a forest fire. Remember? Adrian, did you get the Canadian smoke forest fires? The couple of years ago yeah it was terrible i i, I last I mean, year very, uh, no last year was it more from canada but in past oh, years we got yeah, a yeah. lot from the u.s and yeah. you know people were complaining about the canadian forest fires in new york and i yeah. it, as a bad joke i was saying well this is our revenge for oh. years of getting smoke up in alberta and british columbia from fires from oregon and washington state Mm -hmm. uh, even California. I your mean, your Canadian fire gave me pneumonia last year. So yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. yeah. But that's that's what we were. I mean, we wouldn't even be able to see across yeah. the street hardly. It was just sorry. So oh, we had so that sweet. in 2020. It was really bad. Yeah, 2020 was terrible. Yeah. Janine, are we all gonna go on a uh a road trip to visit um Brian Dunning in in Bend when Bend? we're up in, in you could Bend? you could are you gonna come, <laughs> Leonard? I don't know. I'm not sure what when I'm going to be Come up out there. to New Mexico, Leonard. I'm. I got something happening that week. Uh, that weekend already. Well, fine. Well, Janine doesn't know Carolina. this. What? What, Romero? It's also North Carolina, Leonard. May all, all the way on the other side of the country. Yeah, that's right. You know where that or is. Or you never go ever. Well, actually, I'm going to be there next weekend. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> going to boston, oh, boston. Go, to boston. <laughs> go say hi to my son <laughs> i'll wave <laughs> so well, here landing yeah <laughs> so two of the things you guys don't know because it's just just <laughs> happening right now uh seattle is going to do a skeptic camp the week before janine's i believe really yep Scott? Is Scott susan, doing susan it? said we're going to do this Scott didn't tell me um, it's going to be uh, the 17th weekend uh, with uh, Craig Foster and uh, those people. We're just, they're trying to find the venue right now. And then, I may go, I may go up to Seattle. I have planned and I've already asked Melanie since she's going to be coming to yours, if she would also go up to Seattle mm -hmm. and that looks like it's going to happen. And the other thing is, is I'm going to go out to Buffalo, New York to go and do a I don't know why they're asking me, but it's a retreat they're having out there. And it's starting on a Wednesday. I'd have to fly out on a Tuesday. And I said, let's do a skeptic camp. So we're arranging skeptic camp the weekend before. It's in uh, New York uh, at the at the Center for Inquiry. So, And what's the date for that? That's going to be... That's going to be July 20th weekend. Skeptic camp, New York... Um, CFI at the CFI actual facility and then I can just hang around a couple of days and then we start our we start the reason I was there in the first place I think it's I think it's a miss to have so many people coming out to to do something that they're paying for all the people to fly out there anyway might as well just do a skeptic camp and heck because I really want to go to Baja Con which, eh. Eh. well it's in August but if I stayed if I went early 
Okay. Well, you'd have to go down and visit one. you and uh-huh. your kid. Ah, uh, what? No, skeptic. Melanie's going to be there. Seth's well, going to be Melanie's there. Melanie's going to be in uh, Eugene and, and Seattle. Well, Baja close, Khan is the atheist thing. I'm not that Seth. interested. Hmm? She wants to see Seth Andrews. I don't blame her. I oh, want to meet see, Kenny Biddle. Well, Kenny's going to North Carolina. And he'll also and be at the so one in New York. To he'll also be in New York. <laughs> So easy to get to North Carolina. So easy, just simple. Yeah. Especially Edmonton. <laughs> Edmonton. Anyway, the point uh, is we're trying to put these on all over the place. And so if you have any influence anywhere, please be in touch. Let's get these things going all over the place. And I'll try to make at least the first one. Are we ready to start? Because we, we're, we're running late. Um, <laughs> You'll see a reminder from Carl. Mm-hmm. Did, did you see my message in the chat? Oh, there's a message. You need to fill up spots for next week's trivia. Oh, you're awesome. Okay, we do need some spots for next week's trivia before anybody goes anywhere far away. We have some people already on, Jim, Rob, and Karen, and I need two more. And then the week after that, I'm going to need somebody to run it, and it can't be Rob, and it can't be me. So I could then probably, let me just check. I could probably do it. I could help. No, oh, for fuck's sake. What? And the week after that. <laughs> oh, so the 23rd. No, I can't do it. The 23rd. Sorry. Oh. Oh, I have to apologize to Richard for my curt response on Saturday. Uh, he probably doesn't even remember. <laughs> you chastised you chastised me for using the divining rod a bit a bit wrong, so <laughs> corrected myself. Yeah, we and use then, divining rods made out of coat hangers. And Vincent's yeah. w- w- wandering the room, saying it's attracted to coats. <laughs> Rob, I can't well, change the dates. It's got the wrong. I said year. it's attracted to clothes. So clothes, yeah. yes. Well, yeah. He does. <laughs> uh, yeah. I always thought divining rods had to be made out of elm. Oh, well. why? I don't know. That's just no. No, no. You're supposed to say it. the elm. If I know. Okay, so guides, do we so. have anybody who said that they definitely want to do a, a category uh next week in a bonus? Because just throwing out there. If you can't find anyone, I can do a bonus. Okay. Ben, would you be able to run trivia on May twenty third and the thirtieth? Look. Or and the thirtieth. Well, wow. maybe Adrian could do the thirtieth. No, Adrian's gonna no, be in. I'm gonna she's, gonna be, she's gonna be with me in um, uh, New Mexico. Yeah. I'm traveling. Okay. Probably. So- uh, it's just there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with my work. So this month. So I'll have to well, see. But, yeah. worst case scenario, I could cover for Ben if he can't do it for you. Well, that's true. That works. Okay, so we'll deal with it, but just I've never done it before, but I can FYI. Sure. You great. know what? If 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 one of you who can get into my uh, Zoom can start it and get into the thing, I mean somebody else could actually run it. It's just the you know, be the MC. It's just the uh right soft, the the screen stuff. I mean, we could give other people permissions. It's not a problem. It's just like anyway, we're ready to start again and we're gonna go back to Round three, sorry it took so long. And this time it's Janine. So this will be something very different. It will have nothing to do with TV shows or movies. No movies, no TVs. But my husband said it was very hard. So, oh, oh, you read him the questions? Uh-oh. I read him the questions. He said it was too hard. So maybe it's going to be a Punch and Judy or a Lighthouse. Who knows? Oh. But I took oh, it from... Uh, one of my favorite books, um, The Age of Wonder by Richard Holmes, and it covers the um, scientists during from about the 1700s to the mid 1800s, 
So it's quite simple. You just named the scientist. Oh, quite simple. Oh, what are you so, calling and I thought at category? first I could do really succinct questions, but it turned out it was a little, a little bit harder than that. Janine, what are you calling the category? Oh, name the scientist. Name the scientist. Just name the scientist, the scientist from the age of wonder. Okay. Um. So during that period of time, there was a lot of innovation in science. Um, And so... Let's start. I'm sorry, like everyone else, I have to go back and forth between Word and Zoom. We're going to get everybody here. We're going to start doing fundraisers for people to all have multiple screens and everything. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. So it is nice. I'm spoiled. The inventor of the lightning rod. And this individual lived from 1706 to 1790. Wow, that was a long life. That's because they invented the lightning rod. Come on, Vincent. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think they I'm walked jumping. around holding one. So this person, <laughs> got a this, this person got a charge out of life then. <laughs> Number two, the Swedish biologist and physician who established the binomial nomenclature system for naming organisms based on physical characteristics? <laughs> My mouse is like really bad mouse. Bad it mouse. Bad jumps mouse. around. So three. The French astronomer who, while looking for comets, cataloged 110 nebulae and star clusters known as M1 to 110. Uh, amateur astronomers today often begin with the goal to find all 100 of these, 110 of these objects. We started out with a much shorter one here and added to it just a bit ago. Uh, the German-born British astronomer who, while surveying double stars and mapping the night sky, using his large handmade telescopes, discovered the planet Uranus. He pioneered the use of ast astronomical uh, spectrum Oh, Ask Susan for help. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> using prisms and temperature measuring equipment uh, to measure the wavelength distributed of stel stellar spectra, and in doing so, discovered infrared radiation. I clearly someone has to say it. So you're saying he discovered Uranus? Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes. That's what I Had said. That's yours, Carl. Had a sideline in proctology. Sure. Yes. <laughs> there was quite a discussion about what to name the planet, but uh, anyway. <laughs> the and English the chemist and uh, radical philosopher, theologian, and liberal political theorist who eventually fled Europe for America, uh, known as the father of the soft drink for his invention of carbonated water, which he was quite famous for at that time, uh, discovered the airs, oxygen, nitric oxide, nitrous oxide, ammonia, and sulfur dioxide. I like nitrous oxide. Makes me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Has anybody had that? Yes. yes. Yeah. It makes me laugh. Oh I've yeah. Never had it. So, uh, okay, this is one I think is hard, but um, 
a botanist on the HMS Endeavor for Captain James Cook's first voyage of discovery, which went from 1768 to 1771. The mission was to observe the 1769 transit of Venus from Tahiti, and then they went on to explore South America, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, he returned to write travel logs, write of his travels, promote exploration, and support scientific research. He served 41 years as president of the Royal Society. Hmm. I think John was correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid to say it, you guys. I'm. I know you're thinking it. Uh, Janine, you're going to give us a multiple choice after you're done with the ten, right? That's what you're going to do. I could, that's that's what I was hoping. I could give you a list of ten to choose from. Well, it has to be eleven. And if it if it, but I hadn't planned on it. No, don't do it because we'll be right. Just I, 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 I guarantee you, at least one team will get. Much better than a punch and Judy. That's yeah. That's I can. I, I, I wonder thought, whose team that is. Two I teams. I thought it depended. Two teams. Caspian says two teams. Yeah, I said at least one. I, I don't <laughs> imagine between Leonard and myself we're going to have that much trouble with this round. Okay. Oh, shut up, you two. And the other Number teams are going to get zero. Number yeah. seven, the sister and assistant mm. to the astronomer in question four but who gained scientific fame in her own right as a comet hunter, hunter. She was the first woman to receive a salary as a scientist, the first woman in England to hold a government position, first woman to publish in the Journal of the Royal Society, first woman to be awarded a gold medal of the Royal Astronomical Society and the first woman to be named an honorary member of the Royal Astronomical Society. Damn, I feel insignificant now. <laughs> I just had to duck away. It was one of those questions about a, a guy who invented carbonated beverages. Yeah. Yes. I heard about him. His children called him Pop. <laughs> he went away to write that. That's why he stepped away. He went away. Vincent is rubbing off on everyone here. I, oh. That's what I was thinking. Vincent, all these you're, a, you're a bad influence here. I'm so. a bad influence. Cool. But you're so are. good at it. <laughs> well, you know, no, when Number I was well at the uh, at, at the meeting, he was one of the people who came up to test the water divining rods. It was quite fun. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Number eight, the French inventor noted for his pine pioneering work on hydrogen gas balloon flight. He became famous on January 7th, 1785, after being the first person to fly across the English Channel. On January 9th, 1793, he flew the first man balloon in the Americas, and the flight was observed by <clears throat> President George Washington, Thomas Yay. Jefferson, John Adams, James Madison, and James Monroe. Cool. Damn. Did they all know they're going to be presidents? <laughs> Probably not at that time. Where was JFK during all that, huh? Uh, Stryker, probably was there he, too. He was already and, dead. And Forrest Gump was there though. Yeah, of course. He, had a he there. couldn't be there. He had a headache. <laughs> oh, oh, too soon. Okay. For sure. Nine, the British chemist who early in his career developed a gas inhalation method for administering nitrous oxide and became noted for his laughing gas parties that were mostly for the English upper class. Um, he never put 
nitrous oxide to practical use, and it was 44 years later before doctors began using it as an anesthesia. Oh, they just used it to laugh and have parties? Oh, wow. Some parties. He invented right, the new like field. smoking pot. <laughs> He invented the new field of electrochemistry and using electricity isolated potassium, sodium, calcium, strontium, barium, magnesium, and boron. He became a national hero for inventing a safety lamp for coal miners. Ooh, that would be handy. Yeah, you know what song they uh, sang? You light up my life. <laughs> I thought it was going to be canary in a coal mine. That's so bad, it's good. Okay. And this British scientist had very little formal education. He started his scientific career as assistant to the chemist in question nine. He went on to become one of the most influential scientists in history. He discovered the principles underlying electromagnetic induction, diamagnetism, and electrolysis. His inventions formed the foundation of electromotor technology. He invented the system of oxidation number and popularized the term anode, cathode, electrode, and ion. Is it too hard, Leonard? No. Leonard's got it. One laugh from Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I so think you're asking the wrong person there, Janine. Number 10 is a makes number nine a dead giveaway. Well, I'm glad you think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I do highly recommend this book. It's really well. Can we look at it now? Can we do this category next week? <laughs> All right. Okay. Do Can I, I start send... rooms, Janine? Okay. How do I do the breakout, breakout rooms? Open all rooms I on the right hand suppose. side. And it says open all rooms. And there you go. Very good. Now let me put, oh, I got to put, um, what's his face here? What's his face? Adrian's the, going the I'm leaving one. just so you know. Yeah, yeah. We'll use another one in our I'm leaving. I'm leaving at 10 30. Okay, so, so let's see. I've got so yeah, you should go into room three. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I just saw Carl Leonard and Cindy are in one room together, so I, I can't. Add somebody else in that room in this case. One answer for our team. A while Hello, back, people. Right? Yeah. So, I okay. got it. I'm going to go. Good. Susan's got all the answers. Right? Knows the answer. I got all the answers, but I don't want to brag. So I'm going to let you okay. guys go ahead and I'll just let you know if it's right. Okay. And I'm going to go listen to a team <laughs> that has answers. Well, number one has obviously been been Ben Franklin. Right. Well, that's what um, I put, but I don't think it's. Are we sure? I don't I think, think. I think it's a good guess. Yeah, it's not it a bad guess. I, don't guess. Know. I, I am not guessing. That's who it is. Okay. Well, then oh, it's a good right. answer. Thank you. Otherwise okay. known as Richard Saunders. Yes. There you go. <laughs> you guys can see my screen, okay? Uh -huh. so I'll yeah. let you guys do the rest since I I went to that one. Did that one. Swedish biologist and physician used to. Oh, another thing with those divining rods, I was trying to pick out the nimrods that were in the crowd. <laughs> oh, God. Couldn't find any. So <laughs> we, and we were at a university, so it was even harder to find them. So, Aww. did you uh, enjoy the conference, Vincent? I really did. I was super, super tired. For some reason, I could not fall asleep. Well, because so, you're hyped up on having all that fun stuff and people and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Just being in a strange room and stuff. I was yeah. fairly, I lived, I lived fairly close to the conference. Um, I could have just trained it down there. 
but I decided to rent a hotel room while I was more there. Fun. It's more social too. So well, I had a little bit of, I had a little bit of a of um, a break, a little bit of a a tiny bit of um, a vacation kind of thing. That's right. Okay, so going on because yes. we're on question two. <laughs> yes, we need to answer our questions first. Yes. Go ahead. Not that we have all these answers. Go but, for it. Know. Who's got number two? I don't have any. So. No. If anybody knows the answer to any of these, feel free. We can oh, hop around. Oh, you guys are going to make me. Right not. Okay, let me think about this a second. Don't uh, hurt yourself. Number two is that um, Swedish, huh? Yeah, who came up Von, with the Von Lichter? It's not it's not the guy who did the 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 necks of drafts, uh Lemire or whatever his name was. It wasn't him, right? That was uh Well Lemire Lemire is uh is not he was wasn't he he wasn't Swedish anyway, so that okay. French astronomer who looking for comments cataloged 110. Oof. Jacques Cousteau. Super double stars and map. Inspector Clouseau, maybe. You know what's I funny is that sure. I bet a bunch of these we have written the Wikipedia pages for. Mm -hmm. It's not like because I'm reading this going, oh, this sounds familiar. Uh double stars map in the night sky using his light. So you think we're gonna get a big goose egg on this? No, no, one? we got Ben Franklin. <laughs> oh, we got Ben Franklin. Okay. There's there's one more I know the answer to, but we'll get to that when we get to that. All right. I can scroll down if you want. We can put it in there now. No, I want to hype the anticipation. Okay. okay. That oh, works. Jeez. <laughs> oh, the carbonated water one, you know, huh? No, I don't. Yeah, it was <laughs> Pop. No, I bet. Pop Hayden. We call that in Canada pop. We don't say soda. We say we don't pop. say pop. Well, parts of America does. Yeah, more of more and more of America is saying soda. No, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Carolyn, did in when you were in Buffalo, was a pop or soda? I always called it soda because I'm from here. So if anybody said pop, I ignored them. But they they did say <laughs> pop. I think in Buffalo, right? Um. Honestly, I don't remember. There's a lot of um, Irish people, so mostly beer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Number uh, six. The number six seems so familiar to me. Um, it does to me too, but I don't. The Joseph Banks. Joseph number Banks. Sir Joseph Banks. Oh, sir. No, that doesn't. Sound in, in Australia, we have a species of plant named after him the banksia oh cool oh. yeah okay the sister and assistant to the astronomer in question four which we don't know mm -hmm. so it'd be a german-born woman frau blucher almond <laughs> 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 hunter that sounds familiar too she was the first woman I have a feeling she's on that jigsaw puzzle that I have that has all these women who are in science yeah. that we hardly know. Um, it's on your desk, right? No, no uh, unfortunately. <laughs> First woman in England hold a government. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I don't know Not Franklin. any of these, unfortunately. Um, First woman in England hold a government position to publish and awarded a gold medal. Same with the number eight, the guy who who crossed the English Channel in a balloon? Look at all these people that were there. Jefferson, Washington, Adams, Madison, Monroe. My Lord. Um, if only they'd taken a group picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, does anybody know a scientist who could have lived during this time and we can just put their name down for all of these? 
No. Well, number 10, I'm probably very wrong, but since they were talking about electricity, I said Tesla. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I, I don't know much about Tesla, except probably is it right. About I don't. Electromotor technology. Uh, I mean, it's it's a guess. It's right? a guess. That's all. I'm. Yeah. It just. Yeah, you know. But I don't know if he had. You know. Let's go with it, Nikola Tesla. Why not? I'm thinking that yeah. number seven. I bet mm -hmm. that was covered on the the new series of Cosmos because they covered a lot of people like that. I do. I don't know. Cosmos. How are you guys doing? Yeah, uh -oh. terrible. Can you change your these are, these are very hard. That's what John said. Well, yeah. listen to your husband. <laughs> yes, <laughs> would you have liked to have gotten questions on farm equipment? Uh, no, but do you know, this time you're going to be able to fabrication. You're going to say to John, John, you were a hundred percent right. <laughs> They were. If you know the answers, these are easy. Yeah, that, I if think you that's don't the know problem. The answers that might be true. <laughs> yeah. If you already have the name, if you gave me a person's name, I might have come up with some of these things. Yeah. Yep. But I, I don't know. I mean, you're gonna, we're, you're gonna say the answers, and I bet we're all gonna go. Oh, that's right. It depends on if you know your science history. Well, I love science history, but remember kind of somebody's was, name? I kind of was thinking each team would get somebody who knew science science history. I love science history, and I was and as I was saying, I bet there's a, there's a good chance we've written a lot of these pages or worked on these Wikipedia pages, but I'm, it's it's not coming to it's not coming to me. No, nope. I, I proofread I proofread Wikipedia pages. I don't remember the names of the people on the Wikipedia pages. <laughs> I know what time it is. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Is it time? Did the kitty tell you? Yes, they're telling me. For food. <laughs> My dog was telling me it was time to go outside, but I didn't dare take him out. You want to say hi? So oh, Yeah, let's have her say So hi. how much time should I give you? Well, how is everybody else doing? Well, I think Rob nailed it where... Some teams are going to know it. Yep. Some teams aren't. We're the aren't. Yep. We're the aren't. Yeah. Yeah. But if, so. okay, so you make that decision. You could, do you want to put us out of our misery now or do you want to wait a little <laughs> bit? I don't know. Maybe I'll hang around and watch you suffer. Well, we mm -hmm. yeah, oh, I'm not team the kind of this, is, this is my team. I will suffer too, right? <laughs> so now, now we know that Janine is uh, sadistic. So. Yeah, to say she's a masochist. Her. She Apparently. looks so sweet. Yeah. She, she turned off her screen. Uh, her anybody screen. have any? Well, I don't want you guys throwing other guesses at me. <laughs> no, we can't read you. Who's, no. the, who's the laughing oh, gas guy? Well, I'm Steve I'm Martin. Dead weight guys, so I'm gonna. I'm going to take off. Carolyn's like, help. I'm out of here. Hey. I'm going to help. Hey. So. Bye, Carolyn. Thank Good you. Good luck. Bye, Carolyn. Okay. Bye. I'm going go to start the close the rooms. Okay. And I can only stay on for another half hour. I do apologize ahead okay. of time. Well, I'm I'm out of here in a minute. <laughs> in yeah. two minutes. So you guys. Be fine. No, 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 no. I meant I can only be in the trivia for like another half hour. Yeah. I, I have want a, a, I want another baby. mascot round. <laughs> yeah. I have another eye appointment tomorrow, so I have to be They're going to count them this time? I don't know. Well, it's, uh, it's the same ophthalmologist that did the surgery on my eyes. So, so he's going to check your check your seat. He's going to check to make sure that um it took and it did. I know it took. Oh, that's so. wonderful. Yeah, so I will not be going blind. Yay! <laughs> I bet you if you ran ran with scissors, you'd have a better shot at it if you're trying. Oh, well, oh. I think the problem was is I didn't get have control of my diabetes, and I was having a lot of ice cream, and mm -hmm. my 
uh, diabetes sugar was way too high for way too long. And that's probably what did it. Yeah, that will do it. I, from what I understand, oh, I'm not diabetic, yeah. but Mark so, is. So I, we're always yeah. dealing with it. So now I'm very careful with uh, what I eat. So no more sweets, which sucks, but oh well. You can have that other kind of stuff, the fake stuff, or maybe they don't make fake it to Canada. Stuff. Yeah. Oh no, they do. Yeah, there's lots of stuff. Does exercise help you keep it in control? Uh, yeah, if I did it, but the truth comes out. I stepped yeah. <laughs> out the other day. He's honest. I can still yeah. see everything, and that is a good thing. Yes, it is. Is there some reason why you wouldn't? He had a, he had his eyes taken out. Oh, <laughs> I I was last week. It was either la no, it was two weeks ago. I was almost blind. Oh no! Yeah, where so. were you, Deborah? I must have missed that part. Maybe you it was usually come a little beginning. later because he was telling yeah. me about it. I think earlier. All right, Janine, uh, you gonna been. put us out of our freaking misery over here, or what? I'm gonna <laughs> put you out of Jeez. your misery. Jeez, my Christmas. That would be nice. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna reread questions. That's Thank long. You. I'm just gonna give you the <laughs> answers here. I guess I need to read them aloud too for the yeah. listening audience, right? So number yes. one, um lightning rods was Benjamin Franklin. Thank you. We have a point. I okay, had to argue with my good. <laughs> yeah. Um number two was Carl Linnaeus. How do you spell that? Arla? Oh, and then a e. -U oh, there it is. I see it in the. Okay, I, see I it have in it in the now. chat. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, number three cool. was Charles Messier. Um, and oh, Leonard familiar. Leonard pointed out something that my question was somewhat incorrect. Uh -oh. and Can we have the point? His, that his, never that never happens. That would have given us it. We would have had it. <laughs> well, <laughs> Leonard, you can you can. I was listening to what you had to say. Uh, that so Messier Mez actually was added. Yeah, yeah. Messier actually did 103 objects, and the the last seven were added after his death. Yeah, but everyone knows of the everyone that knows of the Messier catalog knows of it as 110. Yeah, when I go to the star party, um, up in the Ochico Mountains, the Oregon Star Party. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there trying to get through the list. Yeah. So what number is Andromeda? 31. <laughs> you would know that, or did you just make it up? He just, just, he just oh, I, oh I, my God, I know, Tesla. I, I know a bunch oh, of them. A Carol lot of people know, know stuff. Um, hey, number Linda, four was William Herschel. I think most people knew. Did people yes. know that one? No. Nope. Okay. No. Yes. Some people if did. If you knew Messier, you knew, Her you knew Herschel. Probably. Maybe. Um, number five was Joseph Priestley. We talked about Priestley a lot at the uh, Skeptics Toolbox. Will you take Jason Priestley? <laughs> <laughs> that was his cousin. How about that was Father, his cousin. Priestley. Father Priest. Father Priest. Serious, serious question, though. When we did the answers, we only wrote down the last name. Is that good enough? Or do you really need the first name? Yeah. Oh, I think the last name would be fine. I think you have to put the sir. On. Four you better and seven. put the sir, the honorific on it, because we can't have somebody not have their honorific. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, Number six was the one that I thought would be really hard was uh, Sir Joseph Banks. Yep. And Richard and uh, Thank you, Richard. Richard His story yeah. was really interesting, yeah. especially the the time he spent in Tahiti. Um, that was really interesting. Uh, number seven was uh, William Herschel's, Herschel's little sister, Carolyn Herschel. Oh, oh God, I always forget her. Yeah. And number <laughs> eight, the number eight was the other one I thought would be really hard. And it was um, Jean-Pierre Blanchard. Mm. Damn, I get them confused all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine was Sir Humphrey Davy. 
And number 10 was Michael Faraday. I thought it was Gene Simmons. You know, the two. It's not Gene. It's Jean. Jean. <laughs> Simmons? I don't know Gene Simmons. They were in the book. I'm sorry. Gene Simmons is from a band called Kiss. He has a tongue. Oh, for having a long tongue. I think I've heard of Kiss. <laughs> oh, wow. Cat. Wow. Okay. Yes, Definitely. Wow. Holy moly. Cat, you should dress up as Gene Simmons for Halloween. Yes. <laughs> Leonard, too. <laughs> Leonard and Cat and should go as Kiss. I, I remember when Kiss like did a music video without their makeup, but nobody knew who each one of the players Which was. one are you? Are you the one with the star in your face? You recognize them without their makeup on. Well, or they could go shopping at the you know CVS or whatever and not, you know. Yeah, that was that, that makes sense. That was their primary motivation. I'm that, sure. In case they bombed. They didn't want anybody to know. Oh, they could, when they're leaving the theater, nobody knew who they were. Just... Are you a roadie? <laughs> okay, so we're ready for scores. So These do we have scores. all tens? I think we sure. should put 10 in there for everybody. <laughs> except for no, I don't think... I okay, don't... here we go. I have yeah. to share screen or you guys get pissed, right? Okay. Yep. Yep. Until we get Better pissed, to be anyway pissed off universe. than pissed on. Now look how close the scores are right now. Why don't you guys take this moment right <laughs> yeah, now? It's not for much longer. Scores. Take a screenshot. Yeah, yeah, there gonna change. That's going to change. Okay. It's about the checks, not the score. I mean, the sex. Three. <laughs> Dang. That's amazing. All right. I'm just setting it up for how bad we did. Um, <laughs> RFK's worm starved to death. Two. I want you guys to all yeah. know I am one of those points. Am yeah. I, is that true or not? Ben, Benjamin Franklin, right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. They thought it was too easy. They said it couldn't be Franklin because that's too obvious. They were all obvious. If one of us has a worm in our brain, does that count as a team member? Ten. Oh. How does it feel to be hated? <laughs> <laughs> RFK Jr. was furious with this parasitic worm. He gave it a piece of his mind. <laughs> Got eight. Ooh, oh, nice. Damn. I thought we had nine. What? What? We had nine. Yeah, nine. You had nine? nine? nine. Shit. Yeah. Okay. I thought we, I thought we, we missed, John, okay. we missed the John Claude Van Damme one. <laughs> I've had earworms, but never brain worms, so don't worry. Be happy. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Do, do, All right, do, we got do, it. The people do, on the teams do, that didn't get it, we need a book. Do, 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 Everybody, do, do, send Janine your address. Do, do, so she can send us a copy of the book. Do, do, Susan, you said you wanted a range. You couldn't do better than this one. That's a range, and it's in the final score. Actually, is 6. spreads better. Six point eight. Hmm. Well, I didn't want to show off. Really, I actually knew. Realize one. what team you were on, Janine? Right. Yes. Now we the need a category about Gilligan's one. Island, so we can. I knew you know. that when I was assigned the team, I was I was hoping mm. that kind of the science people would mm. get distributed better. I didn't know. I was I hoping to be on Leonard's guys. team tonight, but you get kinda, now we need you a kinda sports kinda category or something about cartoons that Leonard doesn't know. <laughs> I think he would probably know. Scientists, yeah. All right, so go for it, uh, Lee. It is all yours. Okay. Let me see if I can remember how to do a screen share. It's been a while. Okay, so we'll put you down for next week so you don't forget. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't make me do the Keanu round, okay? Come on. Just do somebody's it when I'm step not up. here. Just in preparation for this, by the way, I watched The Matrix again last night and I took notes. Ooh. Nice. Real men hug llamas. Yay. Yay! Well, you've been—you guys have been after me for a year to do a llama category. I didn't study yeah. for this. We were. No, what? this is this is me at the state fair last state year. Photo. And uh, that's which my very favorite you? T -shirt. <laughs> Yeah, which one's you? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're both. They're both okay. smiling, so it's hard to say. Why I was wondering, are you Lee? Lee or Lee? Lee, your your <laughs> primary question is Komoseyama. 
يا عم Okay. Should have been. Should have at least read the Wikipedia page. <laughs> I should have known. The question is. Let's see. Let's get down here. What is the gestation period of a llama? Plus or minus 20 days. Ooh. Damn, and I think I only know it to 22 days. Is the, is the answer supposed to be in the number of days or months yep. or weeks yeah, number, or whatever? Number of days. Well, plus number or minus days. 20 days. Give me the number of days. All right. All right. Okay. We can do this, people. We can do this. All right. <laughs> what, what is the term we use for a baby llama from birth to six? Cute. Oh, How do you spell? <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, 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 little fuzzies. I want that answer. Do, llama, do llamas ever have twins? When a mommy llama and a daddy llama, no. <laughs> they find a really good nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> Are they a little tipsy? How often do how often do female llamas come into season? There's a time. It, it, that's meaning if they haven't, if they're not. Yeah. They should have listened to Captain Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many types of camelids the family llamas are a part of are found in the world today? Cool. Like a candy. <laughs> Okay. On what <laughs> continent are camelids thought to have originated? And what is the age of the oldest camelid fossil, plus or minus 10%? And are llamas considered to be rudiments, such as sheep, goats, and cows? And here's a multiple guess one. During mating, a male llama makes a sound known as a A, humming, B, yearning, three, ogling, D, alarming. Disco. Well, for me, it would be D. I would be alarmed. Last, <laughs> I'd be alarmed. last but not least. <laughs> The average duration of breeding lasts how many minutes? Seems like there's an awful lot of questions about sex here, Lee. Is <laughs> that it's great? Springtime. Yeah, it's long, it's long of breeding season, so it's kind of on my mind. Uh, is, is like breeding a euphemism? <laughs> <laughs> when a mommy uh, llama and a daddy llama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you liked I it when I told that to Kenny, didn't you, Susan? <laughs> so I what's going to be funny sell is... Tickets. To yeah, a ooh. llama breeding, it's very ooh. interesting. Very interesting. Well, I've heard of donkey shows, but <laughs> <laughs> what's going to happen? All of us are going to get all this knowledge, and somewhere I want to hear it from you guys. Somebody's going to mention llamas somewhere in your life, and you're going to immediately say, "Did you know how long did they just stay for? <laughs> how many days? <laughs> Actually, this many days." People are going, "How do you know that?" And but <laughs> you know what, baby llamas are called. Let me tell you about cotton and they originated on and. I think I will be ready for the fair. mechanism on planes to keep the people next to me from talking to me. <laughs> Let me tell you about llamas. I, it might actually be very interesting. I think actually the best tech, cool. the best technique for that, Caspian, just get a T-shirt that says "Ask me about Jesus." No, yeah, we're a Trump <laughs> hat too. Get... We're no. a Trump okay. hat. Like, are we ready? Yeah. 
Yes. We're ready. Okay, here we go. Everybody's in the rooms, right? So. Should have we should have been researching this, you guys. Come on now. We knew it was coming. We did know it's coming. We've been telling him to give us this category forever. Oh jeez. I just forgot. Hey, gestation period for a llama. It's is a it? long time. I think it's not I don't know if it's how long, long is it? Oh, it is. It's like a year. Is this? Really? Six days. Okay, so I, I would guess it's similar to a goat or something. Well, how long I mean, is that? I don't know, but but <laughs> less than a human, I think. Do you think it's more? Oh yeah, it's like a yeah. year. It's a really long okay. time. Yeah. Okay, so three sixty is that enough? I, how many days are in a year? Three sixty-five. Five. Okay, just say a year. Three sixty-five. Well, no, I think, I think we have to have another number of days. Play. <clears throat> Who's writing it down? Oh. I'm not writing not it down. Not me. Lee was writing it down. <laughs> Who's writing it down? Lee was. Who would enjoy? Oh. Who would enjoy doing that? Jamie. I, I can put it on my screen if you want. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I'd rather just write I'm not it on a piece of paper tonight. Just write it on a paper. Okay. I'm not gonna volunteer tonight. I'm putting it on. I'm putting it on the spreadsheet, but I always put it on the spreadsheet, so it's not okay. like official. Okay. All right, next the questions. What is the term used for a baby llama from birth to six months? A it's llama. Not, it's not a kid, like a goat, a kid. Oh, no puppy. Puppy. I would probably guess kid. Lamb. Kid, kid makes sense. Okay, kid. Okay. Do llamas ever have twins? Probably yes. Yeah, isn't that possible with all mammals? But but the way he worded if, it, makes if it, it was going like for a possible. long period of time like that, I would say no. If it's like a year, I would say no. Mm -hmm. Well, it could be highly unusual, but any mammal could have twins just because of the biology. Do, so do, do, do elephants right? have twins? I don't think elephants have twins. I think it's possible with any mammal. Oh, no. I don't think big animals have them. Do whales have I twins? Know, oh, bears have them, but I don't know. I don't. I think lions have them. I don't know if like an elephant does. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good question. Okay, so who's? How are we going to decide? We can vote. We have one, two, three, four, five, six people. We can vote. Okay. Okay. So we'll say no. But that doesn't make sense. If the gestation period is a long, long time. So I say. Kind of I say it's it's scientifically possible. Uh, it may be highly unusual. But I will say yes. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. I don't like the way the word, the question is worded that he asked. Yeah. That. I feel like no. no. I'll say no. Okay. Our answer is no. Next. Unless Jamie's going to vote. Well, no. Even if Jamie voted. How often do they come no. into season? Maybe once a year. Is it like they want the answer and how often it is a year? Or? I'd say once yeah. every couple of years. Considering that their gestation period is so long, they've got to be able to recover, so they can't be commonly. You know, are we saying it three hundred sixty-five for number one? Three sixty is what I put. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, so what do we want to put? Once every ten months, or once every year, or once every two years? Well, or? No, because because the baby has got to be, you know, uh, the the uh, it would have to be a year or two. If the just, I mean, it can't be right away that the, they wouldn't be able to care for the right. Kid. I I, yeah. I remember him telling us that they have to humans humans can't be around the baby for four months. I think because of um, something to do with they get aggressive or there was some reason. So, so why don't we say sixteen months? Is it with the plus and minus on it? It doesn't say. Or, there isn't. Or, or did he say ten percent? He might have said 10%. I'm not sure if that... No, okay. that was another question. I'm fine I mean, with yeah. a year and a half months? or something. And a half? 18 months? 18 months. But they, Yeah, they're timid. We played with llamas in New Zealand and they are so timid. God. 
those running and just running away from us. Yeah, so I'm a long time. So whatever that is. Okay, that's good. Yeah, 18 months. Okay. Okay, so you have alpacas, camels, llamas, and at least two other things that I've seen, but I don't know their name. So at least five, and there's and I don't know a lot. <laughs> so there's probably a lot more. <laughs> Why don't we guess a few more than that then? So like six? eight or ten or something. Ten? ten? You want to guess ten? Is there, is there any plus or minus? No. So it's probably an easier answerable question since there's no plus or minus. It's not wild. Or... Well, you came up with five. You think there's two more? You want to say seven? Eight, nine, ten? You guys tell me. I'm, I don't care. Not many. Um... Six? Seven? seven. Three? Well, Three. think about it. You got camels, alpacas, llamas, and then those little tiny things in Africa and the little tiny things in South, uh, in, near, near the Middle East. That's five. Okay, is it is right. an antelope part of that too? No. No, I think they're closer to deer. And if I know five, there's got to be more because I don't know a lot about this. Unless... Okay, okay seven? Unless it's a trick question and camels are not camelids, I would think they are. Or there's just many, many more that we're not thinking of. Pick a number, somebody. I want to say six or seven. How old like is seven I? or ten? Eight. I, I, it's going to be under twelve, probably. So. I don't know. Somebody come up with an average of that. I like eight number. because it's a nice round number. Okay. It's kind of probably, it's, kind of probably it's between be 10 and 7 sure. And it's got two circles, one on top of the eight. other. It's nice and round. Eight is fine. Okay. On what continent were they thought to have originated? Would that be like South Asia? America? Africa? South America or or Asia? Africa. Africa. Well, aren't they part of the camel species? Africa seems like I mean, why not Africa? I think it's Africa. But someone said South America. Yeah, I, I thought that was the first thing that came into my mind. <clears throat> and then how they have then, them in like Peru and stuff like that. Then how'd they make it over there? <laughs> no, but how did anything start anywhere? Right? After Noah dropped them off, oh. they, they yeah. took a long walk. <laughs> how'd the penguins get from Noah's Ark to They hopped. <laughs> they hopped. So, right? That's the kangaroos. Okay. So oh, what is the oldest? fossil um well let's see the earth is only 3500 years old so it's six thousand years how would i know how would we know this um and well, years? conceivably one of us could have read it and retained <laughs> the information. somebody should have at least read the wikipedia page knowing that lee's turn was coming up We've only teased him about this enough that we should have assumed it would be happening soon. It's probably first thing on the Wikipedia page. I still like South America because I know they have them in like Peru and Brazil and stuff like mm -hmm. that, you know? Take them out. Cam Camel. Camels is an Asian animal. What okay. is Asia? You want so you what do we want for six? Asia, Africa, South America. I don't care what you guys Take want. Think about I say yeah. South America. I'll say Africa. I say Africa. I say Asia. <laughs> so it's Africa. Let's ask Lee. Caspian. <laughs> okay. Oh, Caspian and Jamie didn't say. They're on mute. They probably screamed. Probably screaming. Africa. Yeah. Okay, we'll leave it out. Africa. Africa. Okay. We say the fossil. Okay, so the fossil. If it's Africa, it's going to be old. Old. So okay, can we write old? old. <laughs> How about what's the percentage for ten percent of old? Write old and underline it three times. Yes. Flintstonian. And capitalize it. Flintstonian. Um, well, the eight, it was probably only like three or four years old when it died. Right? Oh. I was say three or four years. <laughs> was the I'd eight? Somewhere was. around 10 million? million years. 10 million? 30? 30 million? 30 million? <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> Pick a number. <laughs>
Okay, next question. Um, I think say I'm no. Trying to remember. She I'm trying to remember like some... cows. Yeah, they chew. Doesn't that have something to do with the way they eat and their stomachs and stuff? There's... Yeah, they puke it up and they chew it. They re cows. They, they, they regurg. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think they are. Neither does. Uh, do llamas do that? Well, that's the thing. I don't think they do. I've never heard of that. Not that I'm an expert on llamas, but no, I. I don't. Okay, so no, during a mating, during mating, a male llama makes a sound known as. I I've tell heard you, llamas if they hum, hum. If they hum, that's another reason to love them. I, I if they like hum during I like, mating. I like. I like well, I've heard one. they that hum. Sounds cool. Orgling. I don't know if they like, hum during mating. Orgling. I like orgling. No, you know what I think they yell. Is that a word on here? Yearning. Wait. Alarming could be perhaps a yell. perhaps these actually describe the whole yama llama mating process. They hum first, right, to draw the female in. The yearning is the longing for them. The orgling is the actual mating. The alarming is afterwards when she says you're going to be a papa. And she says, "Can would can I have a cigarette?" So the only one that's yeah, the sound is the hum. Then this is. The I only think they sound. make a lot of noise. The humming, and, and, humming. Not having noise. It, I think it's a loud noise. Didn't you hear what he said? He said he could sell tickets. It's such a big deal. Really? Well, that's because it's like, I thought it was boring. I thought they just kind of laid there for like an hour. <laughs> Everybody's going to be Googling it after this. <laughs> all, all of our YouTube channels, all of us are going to get YouTube. Uh, we're going to look it up on YouTube and we're all going to get <laughs> future videos of, of llama matings. And then it'll be different animals mating. And that's going to be our whole YouTube channel. Thank you, guys. Has anyone heard any of these before? I've heard humming, oh. okay, but not necessarily humming. for mating. Okay, but I've heard llamas hum. I think it's something loud and really loud. I like, I like C. That would Which be of these I words vote. is very loud? I vote is C. Anybody else want to vote? What is orgly? What does it mean? I don't know. That's why I'm picking it because it just yeah. like like sounds. I'll go for it. You don't think it'd be alarming? It could be. I don't know. Uh, I'm just, alarming? I, wouldn't alarming be? There's danger. Yeah, I think that means yeah. a danger call. Well, he's about to be a father. That's why he's. <laughs> <laughs> Caspian, what do you say? It might be alarming to keep other I males. I don't know, away. and I have no opinion. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, come on, Caspian. Aren't you an expert think, on llamas? Just everybody pick one and vote. We got one, two, three, four, people, five people here. I think C. it's alarming. Six if you count Caspian and twice. Yeah, orgling. I'm, a, I'm alarming. Okay, I wish it was humming, but I'll go with C. Okay, I just know that it's going to be loud. So alarming is the only word that looks like it okay, could be Okay, now loud. this is about an hour. Really? Yeah, but I heard that they just lay minute? there. Like like you can't even tell what's going on. What? With him shouting or orgling? And he said he could have a show. So it's going to be like, you know, 60 to 90 minutes, like a movie theater. Oh, you get your money's worth. Yeah. 90 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> like a movie. The most movies are ninety minutes. Is there an intermission to get popcorn? Do you okay. want to say sixty minutes? Wait, you said that. Okay, if this male llama is orgling, whatever that is, throughout the whole thing, how is it going to last for an hour? The she'd be like, get the get the heck out of here. <laughs> Watch it, something like you know, three minutes or something, you know. Maybe she's bored silly and he's making all the there, there is a there is a very bizarre bizarre video about cultures that do strange things in other countries. And in order to have a good harvest, the farmers line up behind a llama and have sex with it. Oh, I did not, That's not need true. To know that. Yes, there's a video. Lifetime. Yes, they do it in some country. That's not true. You there's a video of it. That. Some country they do it. Please it's a, it's a look at up videos culture. like that on llama sex. That's no, this, it's about strange cultures. You is know, that, the, is the that weird consensual? Shit. Oh, Yuck. It's freaking gross. Well, do, what are you looking it up for? 
before. No, my friend had a video of strange cultures, and that was just one of the things they did in the mo- in the movie. Uh, There's other one where they, they have this big log. They ride down a hill. You've probably seen that on TV. All these idiots. There's a like a thousand pound log, and all these guys jump on it, and some of them get rolled underneath it and crushed. People get killed, and they ride this thing down the side of a mountain. Oh my gosh! Well, I've heard of them doing it with cheese, but. No, there's a big log. It's like it weighs a thousand pounds and it's pointed down a mountain and people get on back of it like it's a horseback and they ride it. But the thing starts to roll and people get crushed sometimes. Okay, can we talk about baby llamas now? (laughs) Baby llamas. You mean kids? Mm -hmm. Um, What do you think for number 10? 90 minutes? Okay. You want to say 90? 90 minutes. Length of a movie. Can you give us a plus or minus? We have no idea. No, but 90 minutes makes sense. Okay. All right. Now we have all of our answers. Let's look at Jamie's dog. Okay. You had your puppy there? Yeah, but it's getting heavy to see if I can do this. He's teaching him how to not bite. Try to be on Zoom. Oh, come here, boy. He he weighed weighed eight pounds last time you saw him. Now he is, oh my God, about 35 pounds. Oh. oh my god. Oh what a beautiful puppy. Who's that beautiful puppy? Who's the puppy? Who's the puppy? What's his name? I'm glad we're getting in a video. His name is Fenway. Oh, that's right. The park. Fenway. Fenway. Oh the baby. Oh look look at you. how has he gotten so big? <laughs> I know he gained he gained almost 30 pounds since you've seen him last. Wow. So he's my been dog up. Has gained, he's my dog has gained helium. four pounds since we've owned him. <laughs> is he <laughs> biting all stuff, all the stuff in the oh house? Oh my god! Yeah, the furniture and the yeah, so everything. adorable. He must eat a lot of food, huh? <laughs> he eats about four cups a day. Wow! Oh, he's beautiful. Is he an affectionate puppy? Like, does he cuddle with you? Does he cuddle with you? Is he affectionate? Yeah, when he's not biting and playing, he's, he's most playful, just jumping around and playing. He's so are you going to get another one? Oh, my God. He's a handful. Ugh. Well, if he <laughs> had another one, he'd he'd run around and he'd bite and roll around with the other one. And they'd wear each other out or get a cat. Yeah. I yeah. know. Get a llama. Get a llama. <laughs> Uh-oh. Anyway, come on, boy. He's such a troublemaker. But he's te- he's teething just now. Oh boy! So he's biting everything. But he's huge. He's supposed to gain ten pounds in the next four weeks. So he'll be about forty-five pounds next month. Gee, it's ridiculous. He's only four months old. So That's he's ridiculous. supposed to be. We, we we thought he's supposed to be small. We got him because we thought it was a small breed, but oh. I guess not. Oh, well, what what is kind breed? is it? Retriever. Well, he's a. He's a golden retriever, but he's a it's, it's called field bred, so he's a little bit different. He's the kind of dog that when you see obedience, um, you know obedience competitions. Yeah, these dogs always win the obedience competitions. Yeah. So training him is easy. It's, it takes nothing to train him. He's so intelligent, and um, my so dog's he does all kind this of dumb. My he's, dog's kind of dumb. She won't even give me her paw. Been working on it for months. Oh, he, he oh my god, he's extraordinarily intelligent. How did really get Jamie? My dog Jesus. only got half the questions right on that scientist thing. <laughs> Good one, Kevin. <laughs> She's I not didn't believe him. Jamie, how him. heavy will he get? Lee thinks he'll be about 70 pounds. Maybe seven. But we used to have a, we had a, a Newfoundland before this oh, in America. They're giant. Dog. The Newfie, he was about 200 pounds. And then we had a, um, I had a 200 pound St. Bernard when I was a kid. Wow. So our St. You guys might want to take a quick look. Jamie's showing off his puppy. Oh. oh. What's the puppy's name? Oh, I puppy. forgot. Fenway. Fenway. Hey, Bill, how about, how about, how about 10? I'd say higher, uh-huh. but anyway, yeah, go ahead. Let's, let's go with 10. Where's Ron this week? Everybody oh, guess how much Ronnie. the dog is. I just want to have that puppy lick my face. <laughs> uh, Ron, yeah. oh. You're going to have to go to Thailand. And Ron's on the road. Oh. Ron's, Ron's where? on the road. He'll be back next week, I think. Where is he? He's in uh, Cincinnati. He's on the <laughs> so. 
Jamie, what's how much does he weigh? He weighs about uh, what thirty five pounds right now. Uh huh. He was, but he nice. was only eight pounds when you saw him last. He's he so definitely much doesn't want to be held. That's for sure. <laughs> no, he's he wants to play. He wants to fight. Wiggle, wiggly puppy. Huh? Yeah, okay, we're ready. Yes, yeah, okay. sir. We're ready. Okay. We know all about llamas now. Well, you know you. We don't. You knew, you knew it was coming. You were. You've been. I wondering. know. I was just saying the same thing. We should have known. <laughs> hey. We're going to know more about llamas soon. What's the gestation period of a llama? Plus or minus twenty days. The average is three hundred and fifty days. Hey! Wow! Thank you, Canada. Wow. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's fascinating wow. about it is Great. they can be bred two weeks after giving birth, which puts you nice. pilot one year. Good, Good job. So, they can, Good. you know, have a you baby at the same one. time every year. It's kind of a neat, you know, when you stop and think about, wow, you know, if you were up in the high, high Andes mountains and you wanted to ensure that your baby was going to survive. And so you get bred in the spring and it gets born the following spring. Hmm. Oops. Okay. And what's a female llama called, Lee? A girl. Mama. <laughs> or a llama mama. Llama mama. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's called a Carl. Oh yeah. Right. She's called Dolly. Dolly. Oh, oh, well, Dolly. Oh, Dolly. Okay. Dolly was a sheep. Now. All right. What's the term used for a baby llama from birth to six months? A Cria. C R I. Cria. Cria. C R I. Well, we were close with calf. That's one of those kid. answers. You either know it or you don't. Yeah. Well, that's what right. all the answers are for me. <laughs> <laughs> but your dog is supposed to be really good at this. Do, do llamas ever have twins? No. Uh, extremely rare less than one in a thousand oh man and, and oh. most of them are born premature and don't survive Karen, over, oh, I is the answer yes down, or no i have yes, a friend yes. down in southern california whose daughter is studying to become a vet and this this other llama owner had twins and she took them and basically round the clock for two months wow uh, Hmm. If you, uh, I have a picture if you want to see it of what. They so so like the answer there is yes, ago. right? Because no yeah. is not rarely. Yeah. Said, so the answer is yes. Well, again. it's so, it's so rare that they're not even sure how often it happens. But it happens. I'm going with yes. I'm but going it, with but yes. It does happen occasionally. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, Sorry, Karen. So you, so you ex so you will accept either no or very rarely. No, he said yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's yes. Okay. I mean, any answer is good. Yes, yes or no. Or no? Or okay. Really, almost anything. <laughs> okay. Okay. How often no, do llamas come into season? Never. Oh. So llamas are induced ovulators. They only produce an egg after they've been bred. So they can oh, be wow. anytime. Wow. You Really? Uh, what, what? <laughs> Explain that again, please, Lee. A female llama does not produce an egg until after oh. she's been bred, after she's been induced. Wow. So I could breed her at any time of the year, and then she would produce that egg. You know, I could breed her in November. I could breed her in August. We normally, we normally breed in the spring or in the fall because those are the cooler times of the year. But you don't want to be too late in the fall because you don't want to have to baby to survive a tough winter. Here in California, our winters aren't that bad, so we can pretty well breed all year round. So the I'm act, very surprised the, the act, so many the, of you don't seem to know this because that's what happens with cats. So the copulation <laughs> stimulates the ovulation rather than the ovulation attracting it's, the mate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like cats. Yep. Cats too? Cats. And, that's uh, why cats do it, yeah. Huh. Interesting, Gail and Lee. Okay. How many types of camelids are in the world today? Six. And I will actually also accept 
seven. Oh. <laughs> because there is some discussion and biologists have not firmed it up, but llamas, alpacas, vicunas, monacos, which are in South America, uh, bacterian camels, which there is a domestic one and a wild one. And some biologists are saying those are two different species and other biologists say, no, they're the same. And then of course the dromedary camels, the typical camels of North Africa. But the two humped camels, it's debatable whether or not that's one or two species. So either yeah. six or seven. Woohoo, we'll take six. Wow. Yep, yeah, we will. Talk about wild ass guesses. <laughs> well, we missed it. We well, missed so it by gonna, one. See how much smarter you're going to be after this. Was there a plus? Was there a plus and minus? No, there was just a, a six or seven. Yeah, just, just the numbers. Six or seven. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What continent are camelids thought to have originated? North America. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, America. that wasn't even on my list. Oh. <laughs> just at like your North place. America. At your place, Lee. <laughs> no, just down the street. Yeah. Well, would, what if we have half of that answer heard, correct? I heard a number of people saying South America. Yeah, I was positive South America. You have to remember the the uh, isthmus of Panama didn't rise out of the ocean until three million years ago, and camelids have been running around for a long time prior to uh, to Panama existing. North yeah, but I would have thought they were running wow. around in South America, not getting to North America. They didn't. Well, they were on Noah's Ark. The oldest camel <laughs> fossil to 40 million years. Wow. Okay. So they were running around North Five America, going into Asia, and they didn't get to South America until at least 3 million years ago. So we were way off. Holy moly. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, an Vincent. So an answer of a wow. few tens of millions of years isn't close enough. <laughs> yeah. Right order of magnitude, old. Leonard. Well, you know, yeah. thirty-six to forty-four million. Take your pick. With three underlines. Ah, uh, dang, saying. we missed it by a million. Yep. <laughs> our okay, our llamas ruminants, such as sheep, goats, and cows. No, oh, they lack yay. the four stomachs. They have mm -hmm. about two. They have well, two and a half stomachs. But they have an incredibly long, large intestine where they manage to pull almost all nutrients out of whatever they eat. They're, uh, you know, it's like, it's like gardeners, such as Susan, love llama manure because it's only uh, three percent nitrogen. Because they've pulled, you know, unlike most animal manures, it's not hot. It won't burn your plants. Mm. And this, okay, during mating, a llama, male llama makes a sound known as orgling. It sounds like somebody gargling. Will you it's demonstrate? Like, it's like, <laughs> yeah. whoops, wait a minute, I didn't copy the answer. I, I, I said the letter, like, man, I hope there's a PowerPoint with video. <laughs> I, you know what I said? I I said it had to be C because A, B, and D well, are all human sounds while copyrighted. <laughs> well, actually, well, you've never heard me orgle before. Actually, yeah. Well, they're, they, 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 they hum, they orgle, they actually scream to males when they're fighting. But uh, I could charge, like I said, I could charge admission to watching llamas breed. <laughs> because the the male is like off in another world, and the female looks bored as hell. <laughs> Lee, Lee, what we, I was like telling you. my team is that after this, everybody's going to go to YouTube and look up llama breeding, and then our <laughs> whole feed is going to be full of oh, llama yeah, breeding. Videos and then they're going to start sending you suggestions for other animals okay. breeding. That's what private browser windows are for. Now the I average average duration of breeding lasts anywhere from twenty to forty five minutes. Oh, it's uh, a short film, not a full oh, feature. Wow. <laughs> we put ninety minutes thinking it was like a movie theater, you know, going to the movies. <laughs> no. I was very disappointed. Not quite not that bad, little... 
Not a single. I'll tell you, there are times I'm sitting out there. Would you guys please hurry up? I mean, I've got other things to do around the ranch. <laughs> but, you have uh, to watch. <laughs> you want to make sure nobody gets hurt or does anything, makes any no, sudden movements. No kinky, no, no kinky no. llama. So just sex. like yeah. a human. Yeah. They bring it's, out the feather duster. No spanking with magazines. The gag, the gag ball, and the whips and chains <laughs> not allowed. <laughs> That's without, without getting too, me. without getting too graphic, yeah. Sometimes you have to kind of help the male find the spot, and it it can be oh. kind of interesting as you're. If you're laying on the ground trying to <laughs> oh, so, so a lot like yeah. no no, no. no. <laughs> that no. is amazing there, there is no now people are gonna go position. see those videos Susan. Oh, no. for sure. <laughs> what what happened Please, no no <laughs> Not again. He has Not to again. give the animal a hand sometimes. So we you oh. said they, they do it lying on the ground. There's a no, there's Lee a funnel involved. Yeah, it's called cushing. The female the, the, the male will the female will be walking around. The male will kind of like jump on her back, and if she's receptive, she will lay down on the ground. He then kind of like scoots up as close as he can to her. And they first, I have to right. listen to the Stormy Daniels Trump testimony about this. Yeah, 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 of course, you know, yeah, we have to play yeah, a little just, just go look up, go look up. Yeah, but, yeah but, did you guys play this that? This is music? very not cow like. What, what, what music do you play, but, Lee? But it is hilarious to watch these males. Afternoon delight. You know, I can actually go and trim their toenails and do things that they normally would not allow me to do because the males are just off in the ozone somewhere when they're, you know, when they're breeding. It's like, you know, and you just hear those. <laughs> I have never been more grateful. I've been like, you know, animal husbandry. Come on, get it on. Get it done. So, yep. it's I'm so glad we're videoing this. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> Lee, that was perfect. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So, Thank you, Lee. Lee. No, Lee there's totally no it. llama oh, I thought it was missionary so position. Yeah. That was very informative. Boy, Ron isolated. is gonna be so sorry he wasn't here tonight. Yeah, Jane too. Watch he can watch and, and I was worried that number ten was gonna have a really precise answer, and we were gonna be off by ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you have it timed. Um, okay, so scores. We've got some yeah. range here. So let's start with RFK's worm starved to death. Uh, two. Uh, oh, how many? Five. Five. Yes, five. Is that right, man? You haven't got yes, to do you? Good job. Mm. Five is correct. Yeah. Okay, so um, it's about the checks, not the sex. Two. What was that, Mark? I'm sorry. Okay, so the let's room. go to... If you had kept it on the sex, you might have had a little higher score. Yeah. <laughs> RFK Jr. was furious with his parasitic worm. He gave it a piece of his mind. Four. All right. If one of us has a worm in our brain, does that count as a team member? Uh, I, I predicted before the answers to Leonard that we would score somewhere either two at the low or eight at the high, and somehow we got eight on the high. Wow. You gotta be kidding wow. me. Someone's Jeez. into llama porn. Okay, I've had earworms, <laughs> but never brain worms. So why don't worry, be happy. Deborah, did you count? I had seven. Seven? Wow. No, I didn't in the well, crap. Anyway, you lost a tooth. Good night. Good night, everybody. I gotta go. Good My night. internet, oh, thank you. internet thank dropped. You. Jimmy, you're happy with all the tooth? answers. Take well, take care. Yeah. They do that. Just lost a tooth. Just lost a tooth. Oh, look the at dog that. Did? Oh. All right. It's a puppy. Yeah. Just lost a tooth. Puppy tooth. tooth. Save his puppy teeth. <laughs> Put him with the lock of hair. The puppy dog fairy. <laughs> Tooth fairy. Put it, put it under the pillow for they'll get a put dog. Put a milk bone for under the pillow for the. <laughs> the milk bone. <laughs> <laughs> a baby one. Just take it. What do you know? I, I saw it in a so bag. for the bonus, we're doing the top ten llama names 
by Social Security. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, is your puppy nearby? I want to show Mark. Okay. Yeah, is he right there? Yeah. Mark, uh, this puppy. Come here. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> I'm Aww. Mark. Let me Aww. let me make Hi, it. Let me make it big. So Hi, Mark. Mark can see him big. Hi. Oh, nice. Isn't that Fenway. a nice puppy? Four months old. Fenway. Fenway. Give him a what a sweet Fenway. Fenway. He just lost his <laughs> Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> he says he's gained a pound. Um, he's he was eight pounds when we saw him last, and in the last few weeks, he's now 35 pounds. Yeah, now he's 35 pounds. Look at your eyes, I don't see any. Oh, they're really, they're really well, like scratchy. Okay. okay, my okay. eyes are really scratchy. So, Romero, hey, Susan, yes. Susan, yes, so my internet dropped, and so I didn't see any of the answers. Would you mind pasting them into the chat? Sure, I sure can. Thank you. Thank you. Would it be an expert on? I want to have some llama expertise. Okay, here we go. Deborah, were you actually off of the Zoom for a while and just rejoined us? Uh -huh. Yes. You I'm must watch the video. You must see Lee's demonstration of a particular <laughs> thing. Oh, he had a video? No, well, he not quite. did a demonstration. Oh, he just acted it out for us. Oh, well, I definitely have to see that. All right. <laughs> It'll be up an hour or so after we hang up here. Well, I'll have All to look right. at it tomorrow. I'm not staying up that late. But. Okay, so I, so I showed you. I <laughs> have it you. right there for you. All right, so Romero. Well, we could ask Lee to do it again. <laughs> or that. Oh, no, I don't think he could no, do it, it quite was like that. No, a Buddha sand painting. You had to had to be. There was a moment. <laughs> All right, so I actually have uh, three different ones. Uh, one's uh, very easy, medium, and hard. Oh, um, the other one have Do, can we have the oh, very easy the team. <laughs> can they can it can you give them different questions depending on i, I think up. we've had our fill of the hard rounds for tonight so <laughs> but i think if you easy. give the hard ones if Maybe. we're lucky the people might not know them that are leading and it might break up the mm -hmm. thing. or it might make it worse well, you and, and but you there. might, based on our score, give us different ones. I was going to say. Yeah, that's so not Romero, a bad can you, can you number them the one lowest to two three teams and get I will the roll easy a die? One. The middle team gets uh, the middle okay, one. The top two see. teams get the hard one. Mm -hmm. um, no. Randomize He's got three categories. They can save it for two other weeks, Susan. No, and I'm so, going to yeah, make him. You, you can go ahead and roll a die. Okay. One. Okay, that's uh, the, the sort of easy, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to be Lithuanian right. soccer players, something. Actually, yeah, it's a sports related. So there's uh, Lithuanian soccer players born in October. They're left handed. They're all, they're all and, llama owners. And <laughs> what is their gestation? <laughs> what is their house. gestation period? According to Roger <laughs> Ebert. What noises do they make wait, when they wait, let, let him say he said Roger Ebert. So according to Roger Eber, what is the gestation period of the top 10 baby names? <laughs> <laughs> of Lighthouse okay. Keeper children. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, the Giro d'Italia is going on right now. The and, who? Uh, the the Giro d'Italia is a bicycle race at, around uh, Italy. Oh. Like Tour and de so France, Tour de Italy? Exactly, yeah. And so there are, uh, I think, like 26 countries represented. Uh, name the top 10 countries that are represented. And by top 10, you mean like are in the lead? No, by uh, like by number of participants. So if there's like, you know, 100 people in, in the race from the U.S., that would be, if, if they have the most participants, that would be like team the top team. The second country that has the most number of participants would be number two, you know, and so on. And and by participants, an order? they're like who are doing the best. By no, by, uh, no. Just country. the number of countries, twenty six different countries. You said, yeah. So the you've got to name ten oh. countries that have the most riders. Yeah, exactly. Why it's like the Olympics if you were doing track and field, and you got all these Nigerian guys running the long distance. But you only have one American run against them. You know what I mean? Faith, what'd you say? He could have just picked the stupid team names, like because there's one called Jump or Visma Lisa Bike. 
Because well, come on, no, we wouldn't be able to do anything with team names. What are you talking about? I wouldn't about? know that because he's making me watch the whole thing. Well, <laughs> I had to buy wine, Chianti wine, because they're riding in the Chianti region. Well, Susan today. rolled a die, and that's what came up. So I had the team as. Sorry, uh, it's all my fault. Uh, we have to do countries <laughs> instead of team names. Thank you, everybody. You're, you're, you're. It's. I'm sure you appreciate that. Okay, so what's this category called? Are we um, putting that in the chat? Uh, yeah, I'll put it in the chat. One second. Of Italy, country. <clears throat> Orgling. <laughs> it's a sketch one. All right, so I'll okay. open the rooms. And keep in mind, I need a bonus for next week. Yeah. Or in the bank. Uh, do I have powers? I don't know if I have powers. Oh, um, you came in a little later. Let me give it to you now. I thought I thought I had this down for a bonus, but you can't fill it. Next week? Yeah. I thought you said you could do oh bonus. So I need a category for next week. Yeah, because I, I didn't think it's fair for me to do a regular round two. Right. So I need a category for next week. I will not be ready yet. I'm working on one that's rather I'm gonna complex. be gone and for a while, so so just keep that in mind, you guys. Okay. All right, let's go. I gotta put faith and faith goes in. Wait a minute. I got just got changed to room three. I was in room four. Oh, so you have power, so you can go wherever you want. Go to your room. Oh. Because that's the last room you were in, probably. That's why. Oh, we're okay. Okay. All right. Oh, eyes are burning. Okay, here we go. Hi, team. Well, oh, Faith's here. Let's. I'll just sit back. Okay. Or Alan knows he's <laughs> and Bill was right about the long copulation period. <laughs> <laughs> Bill knows his copulations period. I guess so. Mm. Yeah, I've only seen horses and cows. Well, uh, I was just, you know, guessing from you know his comment that uh, he could sell tickets and. <laughs> But it just seems to me it would have made more sense to be one minute then, because then you could sell a lot of tickets for a lot of different shows. <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes that's how they do. I guess if you had a lot okay. of females, you know. Italy, France. Italy, yep. France. Spain. US, 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 Who's writing US, it down? No. Belgium, Hold France. On. Hold on. It's going to be Colombia has a very strong team that I think has like five or I want to say Colombia, Australia has a lot of riders. Well, Italy has to have. Uh, not necessarily. And France, USA, uh, England for sure. Yeah, like Bel Belgium. I think it's Belgium, Netherlands, Australia, Colombia, the French. I would think just by being in Italy, they would they would feel the big team mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. because it's it's based on the cyclists because it's they have to qualify. They they form teams. Yeah, and you have to. I I don't know how they pick out their team. Well, they they do they have sponsors. Who's writing it down? Yes. So they've so like the U.S. I forget what the U.S. team is. Well, but the, but being on the U.S. team doesn't necessarily mean that you are United States citizen. Like the United Arab Emirates team, their lead guy is from, I believe, I don't know where Tata Pogaccia is actually from. He's from one of the, uh, I think he might be Polish, Czech. So they just hire them to, to ride for yeah, them. It's, Mercenaries. Yeah, you get sponsored. Yeah. Just like any other sport, really. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. So, Brazil? But, but so, like, if... I would... No. Colum Colombia is the one because I follow one of the writers in Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> Naira Quintana. So. So, so, Colombia would have whatever X number of writers. They don't necessarily... They're not all necessarily Colombians. 
No, they're Colombians. That's the com- that's the country they originated from. Well, the question isn't where are the people, what nationality are the writers. The question is what country. Isn't that what the question is, Ramiro? What nationality? No, no, no. It's just what country has numbers. It's has numbers. countries. So they could be all on kinds of different teams. Yeah. No, they're, it's their nationality. It's not the, the team. Oh, 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 oh. That's what I'm saying. Thus, you could have team, like, 50, team, you, could have, you could have like 15 Americans and to, they could be on five different teams, but they're- okay. Right, right, right. I have yeah. to turn off my video because my internet's being a little wonky. It's okay, you, you got, sorry, you've lost me. So we're not talking about the, the team as just the number of- countries represented by yeah. writers of any kind on any team yeah you're, yes. Apparently, you're yeah. talking about the, yeah it's the total number of countries represented amongst all the writers so okay they can be so in other words if yeah. they're yeah. Sitting there's, Indian, there's, 10, there's 10 americans but they're on they're on five different teams all on very different teams yes ah. yes because ah. the team names the team names are like uae united arab emirates the airline that is one of the teams another team is um uh, so this, Lisa, but. so this so is not, not like the Olympics. Not like the Olympics. The team are not name, competing. The team it's, names change. Yeah. So this yeah. is this is this is more yeah, like motor. Team motor, names motor, change this, year from year. This is like a motor, like a motor yeah, motor. Sport. It's like um, you know where it's it's the sponsors. It's yeah. the the okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so, so now that we know the now we understand. Let's. Figure it out. How many? How many would be from Saskatchewan? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a country. <laughs> Is there? Are there regions of this world that bring out people who are cyclists? Yes. That are like yeah. France is like France, big. You would think would be France, like huge. I would do France, Italy, France, Italy, Netherlands, Belgium, yeah. Belgium, Belgium, Germany. German no, there are there's like there's like no the only German I've seen is one of the um hosts. So it's Colombia has a huge amount of riders because they are very good climbers. Um I think there's at least eight people from Colombia racing. Uh, with the Swiss with Swiss Switzerland or Austria? Yeah, I think I don't think like I know Australia, Netherlands. Italy, France, Spain or England, Colombia, Colombia. No, Britain has. I don't think there's. Czech see. Republic, maybe. Who? What do we have on the list so far? I'm not keeping track, so I don't know. Who's Who's writing it down for us? Because I don't mm-hmm. have a well, okay, then let's let's hear. I'll, I'll write down, but let's go through them then. Who who we got? I have Italy, France, Belgium, all that, France, Netherlands, Colombia. Where we go from? Hold on. Uh, Italy, France, Belgium, Colombia. Who else? Do Netherlands. It, Italy. Yeah. So you don't think there'd be a bunch of Americans out there? I don't know if there are. I don't. I haven't that. heard any uh, American. I've never heard of this names name. recently. I mean, since uh, what's his name, Lance? Lance got got all his medals taken away from him. Oh, uh, yeah, Lance, uh, Lance Armstrong. Yeah. Did we lose Deborah again? Is she having internet problems? Did. I think we did. Yeah, again, she just texted me. Let's see. Let's. New Zealand? Hmm. No. Uh, let's go with let's go with Germany because I think Germany might be a good one. And do we already had Belgium? I'm trying to think. Put the USA uh, down. Any, any uh, Scandinavia? Is the season long there, enough? I know there's there's Nor there's Norway, I believe, and Denmark. Denmark. 
reds. Hmm. How many do we have? Hang on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Italy, France, Belgium, Colombia, Netherlands, Germany, Norway, Denmark. To the Japanese. Japanese or Chinese? I don't, I don't think there's any Asian writers. How about Brazil? Mm. No, I think we're like getting into like probably countries that don't have very big wide swaths of representation uh, i think there's no. like maybe portugal portugal did you say Spain? Spain? i don't Spain? i don't know Spain, <clears throat> i don't think would be writing very much right now just because they have their race and you also have the olympics coming up so there yeah, could be some it's for training it's for training purposes it would be uh so, I would think you. I would think you would want to race in order to. Could, uh, I think maybe put Austria down. We did say Austria. Austria, Austria or Switzerland. I would put those. There's two all down. those mountains. That would be really yeah, good. Yeah, I would put Austria and Switzerland down. And did we have Australia? We did had. Them. How, how about New Zealand? <clears throat> it's it's Australia. There's a lot of Australian writers. Hey, your internet's bad. I babe. would be, huh? I know your it internet. is, and I got. It's because it's because we've got um Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so if I turn the video on, it's better. Turn the video off. Yeah. Do we have the Czech Republic? Well, right now we have ten, so then we'd have to take something off. What Looks do like we have? Done. So we have uh, Italy, France, Belgium, Colombia. Netherlands, Germany, Norway, Denmark, Austria, Switzerland. If you want to put Czech Republic on there, I would take off Switzerland. But okay. Czech yeah, Republic, uh, should, should we do that? It's fine with me. Because the star writer, I think, Tade Pogacar, is from the Czech Republic. He's the one with the pink jersey right now. Now it's changed. The name's changed again. It's it's uh, Czechia or something like that. I don't know what it che is. This Chechnya. Uh, it's still Czechia. called. It's still uh, in English. It's still a Czech Republic. Okay. All right. Yeah, I didn't know it changed again. I I just go by the hockey team, whatever whatever they call it this week. <laughs> <laughs> they have a hockey team. As opposed to Slovakia, which is the other part of the country. Um, May oh, I don't. Uh, the well in that part of the world, like the Balkans, any anything, uh, any anybody from any of those countries. Um, Lithuania. Um, do do the Russians do the Russians bike? Shush, they can't play. Are you kidding? I can't imagine Russia would Russians be allowed in. Sure, They're it's not. They would just they would just invade. Oh, <laughs> they just show up. <laughs> mm, that sounds all right. We've got ten. You said right. We gotta uh, yeah. have most of them. I mean. You guys there's probably some lead, aren't you? There's been though. There's probably some little country there that we missed, but yeah, you're one point I mean, behind. Be, other... I don't think I wouldn't put New Zealand because there's not enough room for them to bike. You know, they bike a mile and they're off the island. <laughs> yeah, I <got> <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was on a train, but they got hours. lots of hills, and yeah. we weren't going in circles. I tell you what, just driving in in was it in Colorado and watching these guys biking up those mountains? It's just amazing. I thought it right. said we were going back to the rooms. In 23 Okay. My internet decided to crap out because we have shitty Wi-Fi because we won't switch over to the Googles. To the Googles? To the Googles. Huh. Okay, yeah. well, are we semi-happy with this list? Do yeah. you want me to read it? Poland's probably there, too. We're someplace. three. Two. Okay, then. All right, then.
All right. Um, All right, that, uh, uh, Bill. I I didn't put it on there because they just I was I didn't know who to take off. off. Okay, so before we go to the answers, I just want to ask who is going to do a category next week, or am I going to assign somebody to do a category? I have Jim, Rob, Karen, and bonus is Carl. If it would like make Kevin's it any easier, up. I could do a regular round and somebody else could do a bonus. Kevin's the guy with the up. sombrero has his hand raised. Kevin? I, I I, I'm not category. ready, Warren. I'm, I'm, you I'm have a category? I have a category or a bonus. Okay. All right. It's Romero. Thank you, Romero. All right. Okay. I meant I meant the picture of Trump. Yeah, by the that's way. what I was thinking too. <laughs> Did we lose Caspian and Jamie or they're Yes. They they yeah. said they had to go. Oh man. He's got to get up very early in the morning. And they said they didn't know anything about this. <laughs> that was their way. Of, that was their way of backing up. They, they guess but we came up just as good answer. as ours. Like we do. <laughs> right. They guess is would have been just as good as ours. Okay. All right, Romero. Go. All right. So the team, the 10 teams are Italy, France, Belgium, Germany, Netherlands, Australia, Great Britain, <gasps> Colombia, Denmark, and Spain. And here's oh, uh, say that a little slower or put them in the chat. Wow. <laughs> Would you put them in the chat? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's try it's Belgium. Not the United States. What? That's number eleven. <laughs> oh, I, I <laughs> yeah. Not <laughs> another Who would have guessed Italy would be number one? Columbia. Oh, <laughs> wow. What a concept. Is that possible? <laughs> hey, uh uh, hold on. Um uh, uh, Faith, did we say, did we have Australia on the list? We did, I, did. I said that multiple times. That's what I thought. Okay, I didn't Yeah, I thought so. But the thing is, I don't know what to take off then. One of the wrong ones. <laughs> I will take the last one we put in off. Okay. That's fair. Okay, so what I need is that list. Everybody's looked at the scores? Interesting. Uh, Denmark. Wow. So we did pretty good, except no North America representation. Okay. That's right. Poland. Yeah, I'm actually pretty pretty pleased. Canada is there. They have two writers. Only two. Only yeah. two, yeah. The Tooney? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's go over to the scores since you guys are quickly adding these up right now. Ooh, well done, Kat. You made it? I think that was Richard. No, Richard made this. Oh, yeah. I Okay. I thought I was going to say, Richard found time it. to give no, you origami lessons. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. He's a good two point, Karen. Well, maybe. maybe it's easier than it looks. I think yeah. he actually bent it into shape with his mind. <laughs> I agree. What you don't realize is that's made of spoons. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, origami. <laughs> Richard and or I don't know. I I saw him do it once, and he could do origami behind his back. Not yeah. Even yeah. Look what he he's doing? It's just a, he's amazing. That Canadian one that he's to leave, he made it because uh, because Kat said, "Why don't you make one for?" Yeah, for I said, "Would well, you make me a maple leaf?" I just want you to know I saw the hard category and I'm so glad he didn't pick it because it's really gone lighthouses for everybody. <laughs> say he might do it next week. No, well, I'm sorry. Category next week. He can't do are, it. Are you doing a trivia game at a Skeptic Camp? No. We could, yeah. I mean, we're when when I Susan, you're getting here on Thursday, right? Yeah. So we could join, yeah. I, I guess we could once we get into the hotel, the house, maybe. <laughs> you do realize that we'll have us going till 1 a.m. But we're going to be on California time. Okay. Yeah, but they want so not, not all of you. Yeah. Well, we're not going to be at their house. We're going to be at our house. We have only, a house. Yeah. Only Susan's going to be in California time, right? So, so when I'm trying to go to bed, are you going to uh, be partying and blasting the music? Is that what you're going to be doing, Susan? I'm going to be like room. knocking on the door. Come on. <laughs> Let's let's edit Wikipedia. Let's but the game go easily let's go dancing. Come on, the let's go. Could, let's edit the game Wikipedia. Could easily be done by nine thirty. Easily. Let's get drunk and edit Wikipedia. I don't. I don't get drunk. So, I agree, Karen. 
can, can easily, we, can, it can easily I, be done by nine thirty Pacific. Let's get time. drunk, get a telescope, look for UFOs, and then edit with a yeah. With the no, we'll just we'll just get on Twitter. We do scores we'll first. Troll the UFO yes, we should do scores so that people can go to bed. Too, but we, Romero, lots of us the, want to go to bed. Okay, okay, here we go. I'm on the right screen. You are. Oh. My eyes are yeah, killing me. I I don't know. Yes. My eyes are really itchy and and. Yes. Yeah. Oh, she's talking trask. Hi, trask. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm talking to my. I thought, I thought it was me. on mute. Okay, it's about the checks, not the sex. Eight. That's rude. Oh, nice. That's going to be this good, good stuff. school for everybody. All right. RFK's worm starved to death. Five. It's very sad. Ooh, not, Ooh, not in the Ooh, basement. So Rob. Uh... There you go, Rob. <laughs> okay. RFK Jr. was furious with this parasite worm. He gave it a piece of his mind. Eight. If one of us has a worm in our brain, does it count as a team member? In the category of name 10 random countries, we scored six. <laughs> I okay, so forty. Uh, I've had we had, we had we had we had faith on our team. Uh -oh. I had earworms, but never brainworms. So don't worry, be happy. We have eight. <gasps> Bam. Gotcha. Uh, winning team. <laughs> and even if seven. even if we took off Australia, we'd still. Did, so we did. Anybody get team. Columbia? Yeah. No. Nope. Well, our team did, did because uh, Faith's following the because guy. Because I follow Nairo Quintana. So oh, that makes sense then. Steven knows his name. Because yeah. I think that was the only country that to me didn't belong on the list. In my, you oh, know what I mean? The rest great, of them. Great mountain climbers. Great mountain climbers because of that the makes sense. Yeah, but it's just so far away from Italy. But you need I a bicycle. I think I also saw that there was um, <laughs> Eteria's on here. Aust Australia's pretty far away from there too. And South well, Africa. It, it, in Colombia, they have to be oh, fast yeah. to get away to get away from all of the the cartel guys, you know. So. And Kazakhstan has two riders, which surprised me. All right, I would have thought folks. USA would be the end. Good night, good night, Rob. Good night, Rob. Good night, Rob. All right, good night, everybody. So way I to go, team. Team. way to go, team. I would stay here later, but my eyes are really good night. killing me. I just took a Claritin to try to see if I can see if it's an allergy thing, but I don't <laughs> really have allergies. But for some reason, my eyes are like you're allergic to llamas. It's the uh, it's it's the evil juju from the the UFO people. That must be it. All right, juju. All right, everybody. Good night. Juju. Great having you here. Thanks for showing hey. up. Good night. Good night.